The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by this podcast as well as its hosts are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Grateful yes. Dead. Grateful Dead shirt, right? Yeah. Yes, yes. The vintage one. Oh, uh, okay. No, that's yeah. cool then. How are you? I'm good. How are you? That's appropriation? Yeah. yeah. Why? Well, no, we How many Grateful Dead albums you got? I mean, a lot of shit you guys appropriate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you, you guys? <laughs> Who's you guys? The whites. You, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just, I just put a Grateful Dead on because I like the colors, you know? It's a nice shirt. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You seem very biased about this shirt. You I, like it? I do. I like the shirt. Oh. Thank you. You got any Grateful Dead albums? No, I don't know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Point, point, yeah. mark. I got four shirts. I'm Grateful Dead. <laughs> you asked a very interesting question at the start. I did. But I forgot what I had. Interesting to someone out there because the audience is so large that even if we say something egregiously stupid, there's a few of y'all out there that agree. I've been learning oh, that. Yeah. I've been seeing that a lot lately, too. Oh, yeah. Been learning that. Mm -hmm. I've been reading shit like, oh, <laughs> you're you stupid, too. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? I got to tell you your question. Yes. Why'd you get these couches, I believe, was the question. Oh, Ice, thank Ice you, went Parks. to go get a, a back pillow. Yeah, man, I'm old. Oh, Lumbar shit. support right I here. I forgot about that. Ice went to go get a back Wait, pillow. Wait, no, for, Melissa has a back pillow, Melissa and that's fine. Yeah. It's fine for Mel to do it? Yes. Okay. Okay. Keep going. And then Ice asked for one. <laughs> Because no, I said, it wasn't fine. No, no, no. I that's said, not oh. fine. No, no, no. I was like, oh, shit. You think we that's got, fine? Wait, before you. Lumbar? I need that. Antoine. I was excited. Antoine. Fuck. Antoine. Leave me alone. I'm asking you. Have, we all have a job to Yo, do. Yo, leave me alone. We all have a job bro. to do. No. There's nothing wrong with ice getting a pillow, Joe. Why did you get these couches? Take a stab at it. The Take aesthetic? a guess. The way it looks? Yeah, nigga. They're aesthetically these, pleasing. These couches are grade A bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? It Flip, they just went viral this weekend. It looked nice, but this shit, are. really this? This low shit? Yeah, this couch was this a shit blue like one. You, this shit like you 5'3", so imagine me. <laughs> this shit like you drop down to get your eagle on. <laughs> if you want to get your yeah. eagle on, ladies, practice on this couch. Yeah. Somebody put one of these outside of their apartment. It was an electric blue couch, and that shit got swept up inside of like 2.5 seconds. Seconds. Mm -hmm. They it left like it on the street. They left it outside on the street. Outside on the street. I understand why they threw that shit out. Me too. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. Well, it was pretty <laughs> rough looking too. Uh, so the and it was pretty it rough like a lot, too. The couch had seen a lot of action. So yeah. the name of this couch is called Electric Blue. No, no the, that was the color. color. That was, was the color. color. Oh. So it was this couch, but it was just in elect the color work. of Electric Blue. Joe, stop, nigga. You got a white couch. He thought the name. I thought the name of the company. You go to Restoration Hardware, nigga. They don't restore nothing. They don't restore shit. <laughs> they might have started off restoring. <laughs> oh man, it's got a point. Oh, what's what's the name of these couches, Joe? Can you tell us? Do you know the name of these? The company that makes this? Of course. Yeah, these couches are are sold in a bundle package called the Perspective, the Perspective Sevens. This shit that's what that's what they're called. Fancy and expensive. They're called the Perspective Sevens. I bought couches that were aesthetically pleasing to the set. What about your back condition? The eye test. Does it affect your back condition? Oh, who cares about my back condition? Does it affect it? Yes or no? I don't. I don't care. I've sacrificed my exactly. life. I put my life. It don't on the line. affect it. I put my life on the line. The curve on the shit. I'm not you. You clock in, Every clock out. But when you clock in, you say it's COE. It don't really be COE because you clock in and clock out. I sacrificed my life. I'm willing to die for this. Oh. It's different. <laughs> so you can speak about back pain if you like. I'm not your chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? We're shaking. Hey, what's up? I'm cool. What's poppin'? Stop. I got what's the pillow. What's poppin'? I'm cool. <laughs> I don't care what he talking How y'all doing? What's up? Talk, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Doing good, man. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, glad. Yeah. I, I felt good walking in this morning. All right, yeah, something's going to Parks. You got to come. What is happening here? How y'all feeling? Flip? Mel? Ish? I feel good, man. It's a good, good weekend. Mm -hmm. that just passed. What you do? I did a lot. A lot of bullshit. I just did a lot of bullshit. Just being flipped. You know, seeing family, you know, make my rounds around the city. And, you know, just being flipped. Mm. Mm. 
How you doing, Mel? How was your weekend? Good. We seen your weekend. Oh, yeah? We did? What did you do this weekend? I didn't. I don't know if I saw her weekend. I didn't see your weekend. Hmm? Yeah, a little fake sleep picture with the dog in the park. We seen you. Mm. I actually did take a little nap. Right. In the park? Yeah. Seems dangerous. Uh, Well, I mean, there was a lot of people there. Prospect Park. Okay, I can't let you do that. You cannot sleep in Brooklyn and Prospect Park and, and, and promote that. You sick lady. You know what could happen? There was a lot of people. There See? was there was a ton of people. Everybody had picnic blankets and stuff like that. So, and I was with friends. I just you know had Respect. a little had a little cocktail. You were with friends that. and took a cocktail, laid down with your ass. I mean, <laughs> listen, I listen. I'm even sexy when I sleep. I can't help you, it. What about you, Ish? How was your weekend? <clears throat> it was cool. Um, I went to a birthday party. My man's daughter turned one. Oh, you did. So I did that, and then uh, yesterday, uh, cut my grass. <laughs> Yourself? Yeah, nigga. Wait, you didn't hire anybody? It's therapeutic, bro. I like doing it myself. Your knees ain't hurt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you, bro. Damn, shout out to you. Like the that. unprocrastination. <laughs> <laughs> you got a riding mower? Hell no. Like a John Deere. I live in New Jersey. <laughs> Joe, how was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was great. I was home. I was chilling. I went to my niece's... Uh, first birthday party in was Conne- it lit in Connecticut I mean open bar no not open bar for the one year olds <laughs> no for not, the not parents o- not open bar and he had I hate when people invite you somewhere and then you gotta come on your broadcast and talk shit a little bit <laughs> that's fucked up you hate that you gotta do that you don't have to <laughs> I just know everybody don't operate the same so when me and my mom is headed down there Supposed to be a one-hour trip. It's Sunday. It's traffic. So now it's a two-hour trip. My cousin keep buying property in Connecticut. He loves it. Mm-hmm. I'll keep my thoughts to myself about it. But every Kill, time he throws him. some shit, I got to drive to Connecticut. Hey, that's my man. He's so, killing him, too. I, 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 we out. Go to Connecticut. But now me and my mom start. And me and my mom in the car. <laughs> me and my mom is a bad company. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we say, I wonder if he has food. It's going to be some... <laughs> Me and my mom, if me and my mom get to thinking the same shit, it's bad news. I wonder if he has food. So I call my dad. And my dad's stuck in traffic bitching. I say, Pop, does he have food? My dad say, not only does he not have food, but I offered to bring food. And he told me, nah, it's a one-year-old's birthday party. Oh, no. Oh, nah. Oh, so man. immediately, my mom is now looking up Uber Eats <laughs> in Connecticut somewhere, right? This gets even funnier. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> But I understand that because I went through it with Sin. Sin do everything extra. So she did all the food in the world. And I was saying it's a one-year-old's birthday party. And she was saying a one-year-old is coming with parents. Yeah, parents coming. And yeah, the parents absolutely. might be coming with people. True. And you want to. Yeah. That's so true. he said it's a one-year-old's birthday party. Me and my mom said, well, the one-year-old ain't coming alone. <laughs> <laughs> these, kids, <laughs> pull it up. these kids got parents. The one-year-old cool. got to eat too. So we get there. But the kids will eat cupcakes and slap icing on each other's faces and be cool. So we get there. Cool. Beautiful space. He got a lot of white people there, but that's always the case. So it's not like a blended family type of thing. We're doing it. Uh, 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 I'm not mad at that. But me and my mom are hungry. I ordered the food. I ordered extra food because I just do that as somebody that can order extra shit. I order extra shit. Now, <laughs> food comes. Food comes. 20 minutes later, it just showed up right on time. And whatever little town that is, mad Uber eats shit around there. Unlike the last house he bought, Shake Shack, it's shit around here. So we found something, some crazy shit. It was ill. We had steak, lomo. We had ceviche. I had mad shit pull up. Here come the little Kia pull up. I go to the car, get the shit, come inside. Dining room is right there. And as soon as you walk in the house, me and my mom sit down, bust it down. Don't you know? That's when everybody in the house needs to walk by the dining room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now... And now the smell is permeating through the room. It's a little awkward now. <laughs> Damn, what y'all got in there? <laughs> Could use a little wing. <laughs> Get a little piece of meal, a piece of This is my first rice. meal of the day. I got ceviche dripping from my mouth. Pause. <laughs> and these people coming in, smelling, looking. Okay. 
<laughs> just when it can't get no worse. When the food start tasting real good, guess who ready to sing happy birthday? <laughs> Here go my mom. Yo, come on to the back. <laughs> sing happy birthday. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> I'm coming. No, oh, I'll be there. I'll be there. All right, no, I'm coming. I'll be right there, Ma. No, I did it. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's one year old. They don't we know who they love it. I'm like, yeah, they ain't going to remember none of this shit. <laughs> but it's cool. So I ate, went on back there, sung a little jive. <laughs> sung a little song. Went, sat in traffic, had it on. on. <laughs> Everybody was happy. Here go my mom the next day, yo. Michael Paul and them called. They said they felt bad when they seen y'all eat. <laughs> <laughs> they felt bad, huh? <laughs> oh, slaps knee. All right, get it off me and mine. Shout out to Michael Paul. Happy birthday to my beautiful niece. How about you, Parks? Uh, I had a pretty busy weekend. I went out uh, car shopping a little bit. Oh. oh. I didn't buy anything. Oh. I didn't buy anything. Not I yet. wanted to sit with some yet. different shit and, you know what I mean, see what's what. See I live in New York. I park in the street. So I'll... I had this idea of maybe I should get a mini. I love that idea. I love it. It seemed like a really right? good idea. I love it seemed minis. like a really good idea. <laughs> I but I'm 6'5. <laughs> okay, right. Pause, you okay? It's a I'm, little I'm great. Right I'm now. great. You sure? Yeah, I'm real good. Uh, I'm real good. You, 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 didn't take no shroom, you didn't take no shrooms enough in this weekend, right? Uh, I did edibles a couple times. Oh, that's oh, why. Man. Do not shop for a mini, Parks. Minis I'm, are so practical, especially very practical. in New York. In New York, that's right. right. all Parks is. What's for? What? I don't even say your last name. Yes, what? <laughs> he is six foot five. Six they five. are wildly roomy. <laughs> Surprisingly so. Well, yeah, but not at six five. Six <laughs> two, six, six three, you can pull it off. No. Nigga, I rented one of them shits one time in, in like Italy or somewhere. Yeah. Yo, you be in that bitch like this, <laughs> and you taller than me. Yeah, it was rough. It was rough. And it was the four door. It was still not. Oh, still, still oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Disgusting. This is dead. I, feel, yeah. I feel like the country man might be, you know, nah. the size for you. <laughs> no. Oh. No. Okay. He's good. I gotta go somewhere else. He's good. No, thank the you. Cave no, thank man. You. I gotta go somewhere else. <laughs> that wasn't it. <laughs> that wasn't it. Oh, that wasn't man. it. So we all had good weekends. Yeah, we man. did. Great weekend. Nice. Then Sunday night, I took my white friends out to the Black Strip Club, and that was a fun adventure in <gasps> itself. <laughs> to, to Which, the, please tell us more. <laughs> That's, you should have started with that. Tell well, me that. Yo. Yeah, so I text Joe. I'm like, yo, does this, how is this spot on a Sunday? He's like, nah, it should be good. I want to make sure it wasn't like, you know, gang night. Uh -huh. You know, gang meetup night <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we get there, and there's a little cover charge. Everyone's like, oh, no, no. You know, like, listen, I got it. I got it. Pay everybody. We go in there. It's dead as door now. Mm -hmm. Completely empty. What time empty. is it? 11.30 on a Sunday. I thought maybe they'd do a little Sunday brunch vibe there. They, they do not. Parks hit me to say, yo, it's a ghost town in here. I said, Parks, it's 11.30. It's a ghost town everywhere. By mm -hmm. 1.30, the ghosts come alive. It never really <laughs> picked up in, in my defense. It really? was pretty dead there. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty dead. But the whites had a, quite, a, quite a good time. My man, <laughs> my man fell in love. He's, he's texting the girl. Now I got him a lap dance or private dance and shit. He's like, nah, I don't know if I want to do it. Like, here, man. Here, go, go uh -huh, do that. Do your thing. He is in love. And they're texting every day. Mm. And he, she's gonna get him for all his money. I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> I bet she got she got him right on the hook. Right, just like we got him. Right she hit him with the good mornings. <laughs> Reparation. <laughs> she hit him with the good morning. Uh -huh. yeah. Good morning, Daddy. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Tanner and but the, the whites Chad. were just funny. They're like the ATM it. fees are so high here. <laughs> <laughs> That shit be like, that shit be like $5. Five, five. They don't take credit cards. This is credit card. The ATM fee is $20. The ATM fee is $20. It was $20. $20? Yes. It was time. It's a strip club. $20. Wait, wait, wait. What's, I'm not going to, don't matter. Not the name of it. Where? Jersey? Queens. And in Jersey. In Queens? Yeah. $20. Yo, come outside a little more often, man. Stop it changed? Why you sound like that? You're in the Grateful Dead t-shirt. It's sneaking into your body. Oh, yeah. Dog. It's it changed? Really? Yeah. When it's I been wanted. $20 for a long time. The last, no, the last time I went to the strip club was 2013. It's 10 what? years ago, my <laughs> the, one the, the one we were talking about. That's the last time I've been in there that I took money out of there. It was $5. Eight. Oh, <laughs> it never was five. Maybe yeah. eight. eight. Started like for eight, five, bro. Ten. Starlet, because I remember complaining Flip, to Cam. Like, nigga, what do you got It's almost 11 years later, Flip. 
You said what? <laughs> Ten years later. It's almost eleven years later. But why would they put it to twenty dollars? <laughs> because they want okay. you to get singles from them. One of my friends, one of the girls I was with, the white girls, she tried to tip the stripper and put up, pulled out a dollar. <laughs> Girl, oh look. no! <laughs> no, you ain't give them strip club etiquette in here. Like, yo, listen, there's rules, fam. This ain't crying. over there. I just grab my whole shit. Like, no, 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 no. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, how much, how many there. singles you threw, Parks? Uh, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars. It wasn't crazy. Like four. It wasn't crazy. Two? Huh? Like four hundred? Yeah, somewhere in that range. Y'all have my head pounding now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that y'all was about to do that before the intro. Yeah, okay, that's funny. They're, they're waiting like, for change. Yeah, she, my, my change. You forgot my change. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> you were never getting that change. <laughs> 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 You ask for changes. I won't up? ask for it, but they're not it's not, it's, Yo, don't do that. It's stop. Everybody's changed. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> change in the strip club. They don't give you change in that shit. They're At all. Do you need some BC powder? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so it was a pretty fun weekend, man. It was a fun weekend. Oh, that yeah. sounds exciting. Invite me next time. It's going be fun. Yeah. I will. It was a, late, a last minute decision. Yeah, invite me next time so I can come in there and fall on the ground dying. <laughs> Shit. Can, can I use the laptop so I can do the intro? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Absolutely not. Some Sinatra on the intro. I love everything about being fucking married, but I'll tell you this right now we do fight a lot. We Man, do argue guy. all the time. If I've mom. learned anything in five years of being married is we're always working on me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, my wife is this completed work under museum glass that is to be admired and studied. I'm like, hmm, how did she do that? And I'm like one of these guys, one of, you know those buildings that just has scaffolding around it for like six straight years? And so you're like, are they ever going to finish that thing? Is that some sort of insurance shop? Jesus Christ, what a piece of shit. You should just tear it down and start over again. Yeah. New, 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 new All right, let me get these drops out the way. What episode is this? 629. Welcome to episode 629 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Big Melissa Ford is here. Big Queen Flip is here. Ish is here. Ice is here. Parks is here. Poe is here. Corey is here. Erickson is here. Keep is here. Ian is here. I think Tanner's with us remotely. And we got a few other people behind the scenes. Shout out to them. How's everybody feeling? Shout out to the gang. Amazing. How you doing? Good. Great, great. How are you? Yeah, how are you? I'm That's good the question. I'm good. Right. good. I'm great. That's what's up. I'm great now. I'm great now. So, Miracle Churches. Do you believe in them? No. <laughs> what, what, what is that? That's where you go to the church and they pray away your problems. Yeah, your disabilities suddenly, you know, if you're blind, you suddenly see after the pastor puts touch, his hands touches, on yeah, you, yeah, touches no, after, you. No, after you write your check to the pastor, that then, you can, that, mm. then you can see, right? The touch ain't free. Yeah. <laughs> so no one here believes in the miracle churches. No. Nah. No. I just want to be clear. No. Nobody Antoine, please. We all have a job to do. <laughs> Oh man! Um, do I believe the miracles are possible? Yeah, I don't necessarily know if I subscribe to a miracle church. Okay, or... I figured you guys would say that, I do which believe, is fine. I do believe it's possible. I don't know if I believe in them either, but I see some clips going around of miracle churches, and one of them, a little girl, rolled down on a wheelchair. Mm. This is my favorite clip. <laughs> I love this clip. Hello. Come on. I ain't seen the clip, so you gotta. <laughs> you ain't got to. <laughs> you could. I shouldn't even have to say another word. You can picture how bad it got though. She rode down there. She got everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Get your room. <laughs> she rolled down there. The preacher said some mini, mini, money, mo shit, mushed her in the face, kicked her. <laughs> then she got up. Start crit walking. And by the grace of somebody, start walking out the church. <laughs> and then everybody in the church started getting up screaming and clapping and shit. So 
So I was like, listen, I'm not mad at a good scam. We in America. But the kids, ain't that a little flagrant to use the kids? And the second I started thinking that, what? I thought to myself, yo, mad parents use their kids for the scam. Yes. <laughs> mad parents use that. I think this is more common than we think. I know. I see it every day. These fucking parents come up to you. Hey, man. Can I, my kid get a picture with you? My kid really loves you. The kid be right there saying, I don't give a fuck about him, Dad. <laughs> I don't know him. <laughs> no, I'm cool. I prop trust. I don't want this pic. Now, the new one be, uh, this is a sad one. When they really be panhandling with the kids. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. That's the, that's the fucked up one. You Are y'all mad at people that use kids in a scam? Absolutely. Depends on the scam, I guess. Some of the kids out there are the scam. What are y'all talking about? Yeah, the jerseys. Y'all come in oh, with all your fucking niggas. No, 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 they get me. The football niggas get me. I be giving them. Yo, I be like, yo, you nice? What position you play? He be like, yo, I play guard. I play. I be like, you, you, just, want the, you just want the chocolate. No, no. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't got no kid. They're oh. hood. I put that shit right in the jar. They could damn be get everything in my. So they're pocket. not even selling anything. No, they, they just, just walk up to you like, yo, could you donate like, yeah, uniforms team? and shit? Yeah, I, yeah. I, and, I, and I was the, that kid before. The kids on the uh, train that sell the shit for the team. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm talking about. I'm talking. Wait, I you was that kid. kid before? You made it from that all the way to Harvard, wherever you went. <laughs> yo, you never played. Oh, you didn't play lowly. I didn't sell no candy, nigga. No, we ain't selling neither. We we was standing on the corner. Asking, yeah, no bullshit. We was standing on the corner trying to raise money for our uniforms and shit. I saw Russell Westbrook shut down the scam where the kid tried to get the jersey signed. I'm a fan of yours. He's like, Nah, I'm good. So a lot of people was mad. Yeah, don't use your kid to get an autograph and the parent go on eBay and sell it for. Do. Half a ticket or some shit. No, yeah, get yeah. out of here. They do. Yeah. But no, I, you got a right, personalized all. autograph. What's your name? Oh, mm. to little Jimmy <laughs> from your number one. I was definitely a scam kid. You was? Girl guide cookies. What the fuck? Where'd the money go? Girl what? Girl guide cookies. I'm Wait, sorry? Oh my god, girl scouts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. What the Canada oh, are you girl, talking about? What? Girl what guide cookies? Girl, girl, girl guide? what cookies? Hold on, hold on, that's, hold on, let's remove. That sounds crazy. We don't condone. We don't know what that is. But what is girl, girl scouts? Guide. Girl, we don't girl condone guide. girl guide we don't, gr yeah. we don't guide girls yeah, nowhere. Anywhere. In, but where they want to be. In Canada, girl scouts are called girl guides. Oh, guides. 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 Yes, mm -hmm. guides. No, 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 Brownies, is, is, girl guides, pathfinders. I never got past pathfinders. Oh, this is like that that pizza shop scandal. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, so I get it. The girl guide. Girl guide. Money. Yeah. That don't even sound. Yeah, no, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm good. Wait, and you were a girl guide? I was a girl guide. I, know. I had like a sash. I had like. All right, Melissa Ford. Like, Melissa Ford. <laughs> Did you go to class or what? Can you stop drawing on yourself? Sash. Oh, <laughs> Yo. sorry. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Being guided by All right. I still don't know. Got it. Good. Guiding principles, mm -hmm. I fucking don't know. Yeah. I never saw an ounce of the money from the cookies I sold. Well, they could get me with the thin mints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying. You got it, fam. Those shits are good. But yeah. what is the most important thing that we have to discuss here? <clears throat> I was home dreading these <laughs> dreading some of these topics. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest, this first one we about to get to, which I'm sure is Envy and Ross. I was trying to shut up until it kind of subsided. It keep, and then it keeps growing. It, it's been the gift that keeps giving. Yeah. They keep going. So where do we begin? This started over a car show. Yes. Um, Ross is doing, I believe it's his second one, um, the car show at his June. promised land estate. Mm-hmm. Uh, car show, rodeo, at the crib, fair. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's that's the way it's promoted. I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at yeah, that I shit either. But it's still the crib. I'm not gonna call it the fancy name. That's day the job. The estate. Nah, yeah, fuck that. like Drake shit is named some ill, but that's the crib, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> the crib that I'm gonna write off. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it's that. This ain't the crib. I rented this crib for mm -hmm. this particular event for a zillion dollars, and it's a farm. And we didn't make our money back. <laughs> Look, we ain't make the money back. Yeah, I ain't mad at him. I'm not mad. I'm at not him. mad at none at of it at all. But um, and Envy has been doing a car show for for a little bit now. Mm -hmm. So I, when I first saw this, I thought they were in it together. Mm -hmm. Yo, let's just get a little chippy. Let's let's diss each other. Build some uh, come some together, make up, and then I'll bring my cars down here. We could do it together. Type right. shit. But as this went on, it wasn't that? Yeah, this is it's, it's disrespect has been introduced now, and I don't I don't think they're playing no more. But what's the beef? 
Car show. They both have car shows. And he's been doing car shows and been touring <laughs> with six, his car seven shows. Yeah. And Ross is now doing Hip-hop's a car come show. come a long way, man. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. On so Envy fired the first shot, yes? He's the only one that can have a he car show? He says that Ross fired the first shot. I do want to. Con- oh, okay. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm looking for another clip. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Uh, um, Envy says Ross fired the first shot on Drink Chips. In mentioning his show. I don't. I don't. I don't that really know where sense. it began at, but I got to hear it. Me too. I would have to hear it to see what the if shot was. If it was an was. actual shot. Yeah, because you mentioning somebody ain't a shot. Yeah, I mean, but if you mention it in a spicy type of way. So then. if that's the case, then every black podcaster in the world is taking a shot at Joe because they can't keep their name out of his mouth every podcast they do. Well, Maybe. that's a fact. Well, they are yeah. taking they a are shot. Taking shot. Yeah. <laughs> but, they'll, but they'll say it's not a shot. See? Well, that's called throwing the rock and hot. See head. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I don't know. I got to I gotta hear it to see if Ross said. He might have. I don't know. Well, that's where, again, and they went back and forth. And it seemed pretty clean. Hilarious. Yeah, it was it was funny. And then, you know, Ross walking around, yo, I want you, I want your kids. your kids to come clean this. And it, it, it got a little, now you're bringing the kids into it. Mm-hmm. The next one, he said, I want your your girlfriend to come steam my steps and he's walking around the crib showing what I want your family to come do to work for my crib. The very last one Ross did is he was, yeah, I, I'm not Envious. repeating Envious. I know you still at work on the Charlemagne breakfast show, <laughs> but when you get off work, <laughs> you Envious. <laughs> this is women pool number two. And guess what I want this time? Envious. I want it's you hilarious. and your boys to come out and I want you to set up a DJ booth and I want your boys to break dance <laughs> all over here. And I want them to break dance to the Beast Boys. License to ill. Brass monkey. That's what we gonna call you. DJ Envious, aka Brass Monkey. It's swimming pool number two, envious. Oh my god! All right, right. We got. All right, we got envy now coming to work offices. as a police I officer. I definitely like to see you. It's That's given. right. That's you right. know, Friday. You know, Ross went at least so, what, like 10, 12 hours. This I could tell he funny. was rattled. I could tell something was wrong. So I wore this today to make him feel a little more comfortable. The fact that oh. you had that outfit, you had that in your car. I, <laughs> I did. So I made it to feel more comfortable. So if you don't know what's going on, Ross. Uh, he got a little, little upset over the weekend because I said he Airbnbs his crib, which is true. That's what he does. Coming to America, they airbnb his crib. Yeah, it's not an Airbnb. Eddie Murphy man. man milked all on his bed. He responded and said this. I just told the people was coming to clean up my pool to hold on. Because I said Envy and his seven sons could come over here. Y'all could handle this pool for the pool party July 2nd. DJ Envious, you just started a pool cleaning service because you got a job. You work. That's all. I'm kind of confused. You're talking to a boss and you got a job that you got to report to. Don't get fired by that white man. And I'm inviting <laughs> to the car show and the pool party. I do have a boss. Shout out to Bob Pittman. That's one of my bosses. He actually mm-hmm. owns iHeart. But he has a boss too. Mm-hmm. John Venata is his boss. Mm-hmm. Who's John Venata? That's the Miami warden. The correctional facility warden. That is his boss. Mm-hmm. No, that is the truth. You that is the oh, truth. That's Rick Ross. Stop. That's Rick Ross' stop. boss. Rick Ross oh still gets God. a pension You're going too far. from the corrections. He yeah. does. Oh Absolutely. He's still getting a pension. Mm-hmm. So now let me give you a cap. Like, these was all little jabs at first, but then, like I said, Ross started swinging. Like he's, I got, I, I'm a boss. I got rich. Let, let's talk about how you got rich. You sued somebody. You ain't really put no work. Like it, it started to get real. Below the, all that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. Mm-hmm. I ain't had to sue nobody to get paid for dissing, talking about my daughter. Like he all was right. going off. Enough of the reporting. What do the brains here think about? I think Rick Ross all is hilarious. Of this. <laughs> I think Ross is a comedian and he's fucking hilarious. That's it. I do think. I, I said what I thought that he I thought it was a rollout gimmicky shit at first but I think Ross is taking this a little more serious you can't bring my kids and my family into the your shit well are they done y'all were done I, that, that's what I've been saying what I so think so Ross is hilarious and I told that's you, what you I, got I, that bam I think he's this ain't it's not funny no more cause now you done brought the kids in you done brought my family in this is it's, it's giving serious now yeah, I'm, 
again, I wasn't well versed on, or because or, I know some new shit came out. He talked about his girl or his wife or something, and I just think you you kind of crossed the line over a car show. I think is what. Anybody else? What's your opinion? I have many opinions. I just want to get y'all's yeah. all out of the way. It's literally, it, it, it just sounds so juvenile. Yeah, some kids. I don't know. It's ridiculous. It just sounds. I just, again, I could take it to a serious place, but I, I just, we, we, in my opinion, I'm not uh, well versed with all the other demos. It just, we, we need to stop that shit within our demo, in my opinion. Mm. Stop what? A bunch of black rich men shooting at each other and belittling each other. I think that shit is corny and it's getting um, redundant. It's us because we always. I, I don't want to. You already serious this a little bit. Yeah, I don't, I think like we act like it ain't no room at the top, only for one. Like only one can win in anything, and it seems to be only our culture that do it. Like if I'm up, you can't be up. I got I got to put you down to make sure I'm the only one up here. Yeah, I can't even, I don't even get why there was even, like, what, I don't what, know. how it even start, like, why, why can't both have a car show? What does one have to do with the other? They does, ain't even at the same time, they not in the same place. I mean, from Envy's perspective, you might be taking money out of my pocket, because now I can't tour my car show where you toured your car show, but. My shit is in my crib. It don't matter. Co competition is competition. <laughs> Yo, can y'all shut y'all sappy asses the fuck up? Yeah, we shut up and you looked <laughs> no, at us and said nothing I, else. I can't even believe y'all sapping us out with this responsible, mature. Sh shut up. <laughs> Spice this shit the fuck up. Is there something wrong with him Airbnb in his crib? Come on, let's in, let's unpack the jokes. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Let's unpack the jokes and what's right and wrong. <laughs> no. Is that the truth? It's not Airbnb. If I got this he's, thing. He's written out his crib. Fam, if I went out a wing of the crib to let you niggas shoot a movie, write it off, and make money off of that, fuck no. Okay, but is it funny to say? Yeah, absolutely. Listen, when I was having a pool party and we was having a blast back there, Drake got right on live and was like, yeah, y'all having a blast in that Airbnb. And I was like, nigga. That was funny, too. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious. It was funny, Nothing too. You can say. Mm -hmm. was funny. There's levels to this. There's levels. Hey, y'all got that Airbnb rocking. <laughs> That's, That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That is That's funny. So, yes, Rick Ross is making money by renting his crib out for movies, and he's got a bunch of land there to just make money. He's mm -hmm. doing whatever he's doing. But still funny. Still a little funny to say. Envy said, is Jay-Z renting his crib out? Is any of that valid here? He said, is 50 renting his crib out? Is any of that valid? Flip, this is your man. Speak up. You have a mic in front of you. Wake the fuck up in here. Nigga, you know I'm not saying that. I spoke to you and I'm not saying nothing. I want to comment on it. <laughs> you asking me for, nigga. Stop trying to pull me out. I told you this before. I'm not commenting on these niggas. You didn't say none of that last night. Yes, I did. I asked you how it started, nigga. You did nigga. but I, it's fine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Move. I think that <clears throat> renting the crib is funny. I mean, they're throwing shots at each other. It's two separate situations, you know? It's funny, though. It does get a little crazy when you start talking about family members. How can you laugh? Like, how can I? Seriously, he said it was funny, but how can I laugh without feeling away? Is there some underlying shit here because uh, Envy is cool with 50 and they from Queens and this is Ross? Is there I some underlying shit? Well, I was surprised like, when Ross they, called they going, They going kind of hard yeah. over a car show. They are. I was surprised when Ross called 50 name because they haven't dissed each other in a long time. He said, I saw you standing next to Curtis. And I said, oh, here you go. Stop. I said, bro, stop. <laughs> but let me tell you what I do like. I do like Envy engaging in this. I like that. Go on, they'll ledge a little bit. Yeah, yeah. listen. It's content. Well, hold on. It's content. He's got a radio show. They're going through changes. Digital is important. Mm -hmm. You got a, a co-host missing who seemingly goes viral every so often with, with her interviews. Yeah, I like Envy now doing something that we ain't seen him do, which well, we, is... Fired some of these niggas. We know Envy. Is, now, is Envy really being part of COE or he going to take it personal? Envy, we know you take... I know Yo, you. there's plenty of sensitive people in COE. 
Two. Oh, hold on. There's plenty of people that are are engaging and yeah. content over everything that are sensitive and can't take none of the bullets that come their way. Mm. I barely fire at niggas, and you niggas cry every week over some shit I said. What I'm saying is that mm. would he be able to get over this one? Like after yeah, everything. Yeah, Envy's right. fine. Ross is fine. This ain't about nothing. All right. This ain't about nothing. That's why <laughs> yeah. all of that self-destruction shit, save that for later. This ain't about nothing. Is it funny? Is it not funny? The lawsuit shit, what do we think? Oh, these That's guys. hilarious what's, right what's there. Like, what's happening today? That's hilarious right there. What the fuck? That's funny. What's funny? What's that? Funny? Funny? It's funny. I'm telling you, that's funny to say. That's, and Is there any validity in that when you bring it up in a hip-hop beef? Come on. I'm asking tough questions today. Is there any validity when you bring that up in a hip-hop beef today? Yeah. I've, we've said it about Vlad a bunch of times. Mm. And this is Ross's Ross's go-to. I mean, he said it about Vlad, too. Well, that was, you well, know. He, he paid. Yeah. Well, he still no, he didn't pay. No, oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> he didn't pay. God damn. I, 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 I know. <laughs> He'll pay that 10x to do that. Mm. Vlad think I want to do that. Thing. Oh, my God. Anyway. Nah, that's funny. But is there. That's funny. Is there validity I, to it? I, I, I mean, is there validity to anything in hip-hop when it comes to beef like that or back and forth? There's no limit. Really, it's just there how really you take it. it. He sued. He sued. He got money. He did. I'm not mad at that. It happened. We know this. I ain't mad at that. And we had some money before the lawsuit. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I'm not speaking for what nobody had, didn't have. We do that in hip hop a lot. Start talking about what people had. I don't All know. All right, so he, he got money off a lawsuit. All right. Stop it. We in hip hop. I hate when y'all podcasters do that. <laughs> Don't, I hate when y'all podcasters do that. Yes, and that makes sense. You're making sense because you make sense. In hip hop, when you say that to somebody, it's foul. If it's just, if you're supposed to be like some street nigga, yeah. If I'm not, nigga, I'm going to get my bread how I got it. I, I wish I could sue one of you niggas. <laughs> I got to listen, nigga. Be, what the be, fuck is y'all talking be, about? Up, up. I would love to sue one of you niggas. And I ain't even sued them. I sued the radio station. Give me my bread, nigga. And now I, I double back to get another check from them. I work for them now. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? Nice. I, that's nice. Yeah. That, that's, that's, nice. that's finesse right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Two that's, times. That's, that's ah, finesse two times. I see what you did. Fuck you talking about? Knowing like, the current rap. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I did. Who, who, who put you on him? What's that name? Oh. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't mad at that. Well, all of us hope that they stop. True. I'm enjoying the show. I hope it doesn't go too far. Yeah. But I'm enjoying yeah. the yeah. back and forth. Yeah, but the stop, banter but, is funny. But it already went too far. It's already it's gone been too, too far. far. It already went too far. Just keep going down a hill. And I don't stuff. never think somebody should start talking about somebody wife, kids, somebody kids. Like that's too far for me, especially when everybody doing good. Like everybody doing good. What do you feel? The, do you really feel the need to mention my yeah, wife like and crack, kids? Crack on me. You over call over, me all over, the names over you a want. car show? That's true. Not over a car show. We both been doing this for years. We know each other. Rick Ross has been in the Breakfast Club. Like, what? Mm -hmm. What what do we really mm -hmm. I agree. So it gotta be more to it. Like I think you was right with the whole him being next to fifty or something. It could be that that could be a thing. And then when it gets far like this, one person always got, one person has to be the bigger person when nobody wants to. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it take one person to say, you know what, all right, you get the last word. I'm stopping. This is too far. I'm not going to keep involving my platform in, in this. But when you're in this COE land that y'all speak about, you can't, can you do that? Nah, it's COE got a statute limited. You can't just fucking keep it. Get stale. There's such thing as stale. True. I feel like. Yeah, after they car shows. I was about to say, I feel like it's already gotten a little stale. <laughs> car show, my ass, that shit is in two weeks. They got to sell tickets now, which is that, why all that's this That's why I'm going saying they're going to mm -hmm. keep going. Ain't no last word right now. After the shows is after over, we show. made our money, cool. Now we, now we done. But up until that day, fuck you. It's up now. This is the most car promotion uh, I've seen, car show promotion I've ever seen in my entire life. So, I mean, it's working. It is. Right. But I liked it when it was like Ross showed his fire truck and he was like, Envy, you ain't got a fire truck over it. Like, that's fly. That's Funny. a fly way to do this. Yeah, that's cute. Why do my kids? <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, it, like I said. Rappers it's, don't know how to play. It started off on just regular shit. Yeah. Ross saying how many cars he was Rappers don't have. know how to play. Envy saying, yeah, I looked at all them cars. Your cars is trash. My cars are one of ones and, and quality, you know, quality over quantity type of mm -hmm. situation. And then it went from that to how we get to dissing your wife and your kids and all that. Nah, man. I'm cool. Well, fans, y'all be thankful that it's them two throwing the car shows and not me and my friends. 
We wouldn't have none of that fly shit over there. It'd be a couple of Kias and Saturns. <laughs> Park, parks in the mini? Yeah. yeah. Bring, my mini over. Bring my F-150 out. A little smoke coming out the back. Why would a six foot five person think about getting a tiny car like that? I park Honestly. on the street in New York. It's Move. rough out here. It's hella practical. Move. Yeah, you hear that? And that's what I wanted to talk about earlier. And when he, like, you hear his mindset? I'll get the smaller Him car. Him and Ian was outside saying, I'm going to get the small car. Because parking, when I park, it'll be, I could find a parking spot anywhere in the world. And I'm sitting there saying, yo, dog, you're house hop. You're house shopping. You. <laughs> so, and Jersey people don't think like this because. You got parking space. Lots. Parking got you have driveways, 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 parking garage, lots, kind of shit. garages. garages. There's parking. nowhere in the universe that I go where before I leave the house, I'm saying, damn, it's going to be Damn, good. I wonder. Nah, park. that's Unless, not unless true. I'm going to New York. Hoboken and Jersey exactly. City. Exactly. Hoboken is a bitch. You're not going to drive to yeah, Hoboken and park. There. And if, when you drive, you know the parking lot is across the street. The garage is across the street from the W. <laughs> and they got another one across the street from the... We know where the garages you know where are. That's true. Why do the New Yorkers... Because we like living in New York. They got to move parks. Yeah. Now they do, though. Mm -mm. I they like really do. <laughs> a lot of New Yorkers really stand on that. I like living here. Yeah. And a lot of them stand on the... I'm going to move right here to Jersey where I can save a couple dollars and still be 10 minutes out. I mean, I might be there eventually, but not today. No, they, they like it. I don't get it, but yeah, they keep that shit. Smart car. You should get a Vespa. I, have, I like those. Yeah, I see? Like those. But I need a car. I'm not driving a Vespa here. Oh. <laughs> the fuck is a Vespa? I can give anything like a to see that. Shit. Did you tell them where you see Euro. your tall you? white ass <laughs> with the little helmet on driving a Vespa? I'm, 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 I'm going to hit you. Run you I'm going to hit you. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to run I'm you the I'm fuck over. <laughs> I'm not even going to hit you. I'm going to open the door and just be like, <laughs> Did you eventually tell them like where, where you landed? I think I'm looking at Ben's. Which one? Yeah. Probably E. So you went from the smart mini. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> A Benz with all those potholes. Me and me fucked. Talk to me. Talk to your mm -hmm. man. And say what? Fuck them buttons. <laughs> Talk to him and say what? A E. He just said that. I know. He's like good enough. I'm telling you to talk to your man. Why? A E. <laughs> Is, do you have something you would like to say to him? Parks is 6'5". An E-class is still not sufficient for Parks. Nah, that shit was comfy. I said why are you e. looking that at me? Because nice. I want you to leave. Why is everyone acting weird? I want you to leave. I want you to But I don't you. have a problem with Parks in the E-class. We was just talking about a fucking smart car. <laughs> and the E-class is not as tiny as you, as, you, nice. as you think. I had one, Joe. Maybe they Yo, changed you've them. had everything. Maybe they changed them. <laughs> I'm sick of you. No, you've I, had everything. I haven't had a bunch of cars. But, but maybe they've changed the E-class. I don't you think that I, I don't think that Listen They already make me out To be some Republican <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I'm not I'm joking I don't think Parks You have a A what? The nigga started this with, I'm getting a smart car for parking. Mini Cooper. How do you go to an S class for parking? He, he got to change his strength. He needs to get with a sludge hammer for saying his 6'5 ass went to the mini dealership. Yes, he needs to change <laughs> his strength <laughs> of thought. You didn't walk your fucking yes. white feet in the dealership. Yes, I agree. I, I'm with you there. I'm telling you that he is too frugal. Spend some of that money, yo. And I try to shut up. You can have Mini a black Cooper. t shirt because I know what he makes. Mini What's Coopers are short? expensive. Mini Coopers are not cheap cars. Just want to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> and I, well, they're, they're not very expensive. <laughs> okay, well, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. They're not cheap. Well, well, we, we're talking, talking about, about the Mercedes like, dealership. We're talking we about the Mercedes dealership. We're talking about Grammy nominated parks. Yes. Mercedes is a terrible idea in New York City. There's way too many potholes. That shit's going to be in the fucking shop all day long. You should get a BMW. That's what you should get. <laughs> they don't fit the best for tall people. Hey, uh, Aki. Say whatever you want. Yeah. Do your thing. Go get a Tonka truck. You 6'5". Yeah, this guy's great. <laughs> Stay your ass He's out of awesome. these little ass cars trying to save a <laughs> Fuck out of here. Spin on something, yo. You guys know on something. <laughs> yes, you do. Yo, yeah. you black t-shirts, army shorts, <laughs> bins. You but winning. this is where I get confused with him, and then we can move on. If you don't spend it, they're going to take it. I mean, you're right about that. So if you know that, why not treat yourself a little bit better? And can't you write the G-Wagon yo, 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 you remember how good you felt when you came in here from Bird Off that week? I did. You, you heard Ice? 
What? You can write the G-Wagon off. I don't want a G-Wagon. He is not getting a G-Wagon. All right. No fucking G-Wagon. And now we're losing our fucking Saturn and Kia people. No, no, I'm just saying, though. He trying to, yeah, he's trying to keep them from taking it, so you mm. spend it in a way where, you know, it worked for you. Mm. Exactly. Tax efficient. Oh, he been mm. invest fest. That boy. <laughs> <laughs> that boy been invest fest. Everyone buying G-Wagons out there? <laughs> yeah, hey. that's, that's the advice? Oh, that's I don't funny. want a G-Wagon. You I, got it. I'm not driving Just get a pickup truck, you know, which, Turn white. <laughs> Just don't put no flag in the back of that shit exactly. at all. <laughs> we'll support you. That's now, funny. Normally, I wouldn't get to uh, sports so soon. Mm. Well, actually, we don't have to. Well, what do y'all think about what Dirk said about Gunner? I think he's the person that could say it. Dirk sat down with Ack. Ack went to L.A. They did an interview. I haven't seen an interview yet, but it's been coming out in bits and pieces. Bits and, pieces. and they asked him, uh, he asked him, what does he think of the Gunner shit? And he said, "Gunner told should have went in there and kept his mouth shut." Mm -hmm. And then was and like, "He loved and he, he loved Doug. Doug and said, if you were wearing this, I told y'all, I hate rats. If you are a rat, I absolutely hate you.' So he was like, you know, put that together. I thought that part was really interesting. That part, the part that lost me, and I guess this is the civilian in me talking, where he said he hates rats because a rat took his father away from him. Yeah, you like, saying what I was thinking? And I'm like. So, so he took blame. all accountability away. Yeah, from his yeah. You blame the rat, happened, which is fine if you want to. But I, I, again, I could be speaking from a different. Well, you probably place. blame the rat because the rat and his father probably was in the same type of activities. And the, the that's rat one. probably took but flip the rat. The, can't, no, no, the rat probably took the coward way out too. That's but one. The and rat I, can't rat on you if there's nothing to rat on you. But let's say hypothetically, you never mm -hmm. got caught doing your crime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's say you was committing a crime. Let's say we robbed the bank, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I didn't get caught robbing the bank. Talk about it. Mm -hmm. I'm in Tahiti somewhere minding my fucking business <laughs> with my millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joe got caught. Mm -hmm. They don't know nothing about me. How hungry am I? Starving. Oh, I'll take that Baconator and large fries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you get, get what I'm saying? So now, again? who do you blame? Yeah, I really robbed the bank, but I didn't get caught robbing the bank. Joe got caught. Now Joe sends them niggas to Tahiti to come get me. Can I blame Joe for that? I'm asking you a question. Your civilian opinion. My civilian opinion? If ain't nothing Joe can tell them about me, they, I ain't worried about it. You right. But also, if ain't nothing Joe could tell them about me, I'm in Tahiti with my millions. What I don't understand about, the, and again, I'm a civilian too, but what I don't understand about the street, the streets people is when did the streets ever exist without a rat? Like they talk it as, wasn't if as, as if there was a time. It wasn't as prevalent. Oh. It, it wasn't mm -hmm. as prevalent in certain times. It wasn't as prevalent as it is today. I mean, there's been rats. Yeah, forever, I'm, I'm, forever. No, forever, forever. Yeah, I would debate that, but I don't have all the facts sure. in front of me. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But it's, rats always been there. But anyway, back to the dirt shit. I'm with you on that. That was interesting. That was the only thing that really threw you but off. Yeah, but in this instance about him speaking on Gunner, I believe that, I believe Dirk to be a street dude. And the street dudes are the ones who can make that call. So if he say, yo, that man's a rat, or that man told, in his exact words, hey, he can say that. I can't sit here and say he told, he did this, or he did that, because I don't, I'm not a part of that life. I wonder how Thug mm -hmm. would feel. Because, you know, Thug posted Gunner's music on his page. Mm -hmm. Could have been a publicity stunt. It could have been something you know, to bring money into the case, who knows, but how was Thug gonna feel now that Dirk said that? Dirk just threw a motherfucking bomb in the whole shit, wow. We don't know that Thug opposed anything. We discussed this, oh, it could yeah, be his you team. Don't, yeah, yeah you don't know who else, posted yeah. that. Okay, you don't it could know be his true, true, true. Internet or the phone. But then Gunner said that he was no part of, he was no longer part of YSL at one point. You know what I'm saying? So, and I was, he posted it way after when Gunner said that shit, he was driving. Again, we still don't know yeah, we that don't know. Thug posted anything. We don't know anything about that. Like, true. Shit, for all we know. And that post wasn't up there long either. So it could have been people's pages get hacked. Somebody could have hacked. Ah, man, stop it. I'm stop not. It. I, I, no, I'm somebody just, from his label could have posted Somebody could have did something Thug without got his word consent. Of it, he said, yo, I'm take saying. that shit down. True. You never know what happened. I wonder what everybody's going to do with when going to come back with, like, slaps. <laughs> mm. Forget all about this shit. Depend People on have short-term memory on loss when it comes. I'm going to be honest with you. The more I look at it, I want to see how he comes back with the slap because it's looking like a lot of motherfuckers are not working, are not going to work with him. 
So that will be that will be the telling point. That's the other thing. A lot of you do slaps be relying on them features, boy. Mm-hmm. Not just, and production, production, and production, and, and just, relationships. And just mystique of the yo, he's down with X, Y, yeah. Z type yeah. shit. Yeah. If you don't yeah. have relationships, it's really hard to get that record. Yeah. In the music business, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The odds are against you. I mean, now you're going to unproven producers or unproven. Let me ask you this. What? Because y'all know this. With regards to the the marketing piece, right? Do, is his record? Do you think like let's say Gunna came out with some shit that had the potential to go, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Do you think it's gonna be marketed the same way? From you get what I'm saying? From the people behind the scenes, <clears throat> do you think they'll market his record the same exact way that they would have done pre? Well, I think I think part of the marketing is the production, the feature. The video. If he has one, if he has one, they're gonna spend the money. Yeah, if you got if you got something like that that they know they could make work, then I'm with Ice. I'm interested to see if they'll give him the money to make the record Mm. before they give him the money to promote promote the record. And the other part of the marketing is the relationships. So for example, when Dirk album dropped, Watch all the rappers you see posting Dirk's album. Mm-hmm. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. When you see, watch, watch everybody you see screenshot and that they fuck with up, him. That I'm gonna push him. my man shit because exactly. I wanted to be successful. So well, well, the track list speaks volumes, right? Like the track list came out. Mm-hmm. First thing I did was enlarge it so I could see the features. Mm-hmm. First thing I did see how many songs on Twenty One Savage, yep. Future, mm-hmm. Yak, mm-hmm. The, the usual suspects, Rob Forty Nine. You got Deuce the country World. guy in there too, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Wall- I forget his Waller, Mor- Morgan? Wall- Morgan, Morgan, yeah. Morgan they worked on the last project too. So, oh, yeah, so okay. Mm-hmm. What it, label is is gonna? On? That's what I was about to ask. Yeah, I thought and, he signed. Uh, I want to say Atlantic. I could be wrong about that. And so, I mean, I know obviously labels don't really make like you know proclamations or like you know make big statements. But has anybody? Has there any? Has there been like any anonymous conversation about what they think about Gunner's? Like future as an artist, I know because his la- of this, his last project, which was 2022, it says licensed exclusively to YSL slash 300. So I, that's mm-hmm. what I was gonna say. Is he on 300 still? Yes. Okay. Nothing so, about his contractual situation has changed. No, I didn't know. It's a question. I don't know. So now, so they're if, just gonna let him die are, on the vine. Have you Kevin Lyles, right? Because we saw Kevin Lyles take the stand. Why are you? He's not. He hasn't released anything and he's not dead. This is the public talking about his status. The label is saying what the label says. Nigga, go get low. And we'll get back when it's right, when it's time to get right. Okay. That's so listen, if you we saw Kevin Lyles take the stand for Thug, right? Mm-hmm. We saw him break out into tears for Thug. Mm-hmm. So now if you Kevin Lyles and this potential or you the people behind the scenes at 300 and this person is potentially sending somebody away, God will intervene wherever he intervenes, but could be potentially sending this person away that you love for a long, long time. Do you support that? That's a good one. That's a good one. Like professionally, 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 we have an obligation to support our artists. Mm -hmm. But personally, Kevin Lyles broke tears for Thug. I don't know if I could sit there and put the the, the same... um, Energy? Energy into your project if you send away somebody I, I, I know for a long, long time. But is Kevin Lyles a street nigga? I think that's you putting feelings in, in, into the business. I know. I mean, I know, but Kevin they, they first of all, sometimes. First of all, any of us would cry if we saw somebody that made us over a billion dollars <laughs> about, about to be carted away and locked up. We all would cry. I don't think Kevin Lyles did the... He did what we all would do. Ah, my money, my, my fortune. <laughs> there it goes. My fucking fortune That's is the goose going. Go oh my god, I made so much money with this guy. Shout out to Kevin Lyles, but I'm calling him Spade to Spade now. Kevin Lyles is aware of whatever evidence is going. It's going on with that case. The standing of that case. If Gunna is out, and I got a contract on Gunna, either I'm going to promote this. And get my get my money, or I'm going to write this off and get the fuck from under it. Those are the two options for the label. I think I think the label could be waiting, and we can't fun. decide that until I see what happens. What's going on well, with look, you? But like I said, I think the label could be waiting for shit like this Dirk interview to see how the peers are going to treat him. Mm-hmm. Because if if 
the people we rely on that, that kind of fuck with you won't fuck with you no more. And we can't get a solid project out we of you. Can't get, we can't now. Get now we now, yeah. Now it might be time. So they could have been just like, hey, let's let you get low. We're gonna see how everybody treat you. Oh shit, they're not fucking with you. Are they real? Oh, this nigga said it too. Oh man, like now it might be time to start looking into making a decision. Got you. That makes sense. Yeah. So we'll we'll see how it play out, man. It'll be interesting to see if he takes like a different approach too. You know what I'm saying? Musically? As far as musically, like he might end up. Mm-hmm. And, and I was thinking about this. Go more poppy or we, we, we've seen this before. I mean, not with the same. Well, we've seen where they not really fucking with you no more with Bobby mm-hmm. Schmurter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bobby came out. I got to get it another way now, so I have to now try to change the sound, and it didn't work. And with with Takashi, not for nothing. Some of them shits I hate though, man. I tell you one thing, I don't think it's getting back to this energy. <laughs> and I don't care if you told or not, it's not gonna take away from what this song do when it come on. But all of that Drake Metro shit, future, hey, oh my god. <laughs> hey, oh my god. That thing is popping in a strip club like this. <laughs> Now, if he come back with something like that somehow, then I'm with you. I don't see it. I, I, I don't. I don't see it. Especially, like I said, with Dirk going out saying something. Yeah. But, no. And they going to follow Dirk's lead, too. Everybody going to follow All it needed was one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once you tag lame, the game is follow the leader. They said Dirk streams for his single more, uh, more than young boys streams for his album. Makes all the sense in the world. I don't care. I mean, <laughs> I what did you expect? It's got J. Cole feature on it. J. Cole feature, Dr. Luke. This was huge. What yeah. do you what you thought? Yeah. That's Not one sure. of those that's one of those LeBron stats. Yeah. On Thursdays, LeBron <laughs> is the only person to ever put up 28, 8, and 8. I'm mad that LeBron left, but boy, am I happy we ain't got to hear from this Lakers takes no more. That was the, the best thing about LeBron. He was kind of right, though. He, 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 he was, was right. He wasn't wrong. He was right. About what? About, AD. About his very... Got it. Go ahead. Y'all, y'all not going to trick me. Go ahead. You're right. Come on. You want to talk about it? Yeah, go ahead. Ish. You called it Ish. Come on, Ish. Let's hear it. Did he call the sweep, though? No, no, no. He called AD. Mm. And it, go ahead. Uh, uh, every sports person is, in the world said that. Just to, so y'all know, it's not that powerful. Fuck them. It's everybody said, I don't care said about them. Okay. <laughs> but every, everybody ain't get clowned for it. You came in here every other day, depending on what the, the people said in, in media world. Nigga, I've been saying AD is a bitch. That was condescending. I've been saying <laughs> AD plays soft. He don't fucking dunk. Tristan Thompson play harder than AD. What are you talking about? He's soft. Capital T. He lives on the ground. He stays on the ground more than John Morant. John Morant made 160 pounds. Why would you capitalize the T? Soft. (laughs) (laughs) Eddie Murphy. (laughs) Come on, man. Eddie Murphy. Life. Life. He just y'all yo. like that movie more than me too. By the way, that, that movie's possible. amazing. That's amazing. why I know. But it's cool. I know this. Go I ahead. Know. I ain't got enough white people in it for you. It's <laughs> all right, though. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? It's all right, dog. Did he slam down some type of reverse car? What did he just? He combined the. He did something. Just like, right. cool. He put his shit on me, Paul. Yo, LeBron James. Shout out to LeBron. And y'all know I'm not the biggest LeBron fan. You gotta take your hat off. He played his heart out. He left it all on the court. He, he had 31 points in the first half. He played the whole entire first half except four seconds. So now I'm going to give it to my young top five NBA stud to bring us home in the second half. He and did not. AD disappeared. He missed like seven layups, my nigga. You seven feet, you missing layups? I thought they had that game. Me too. I thought they was leading to the blowout. Bro, we I thought they we was, was leading to a 30. At the half. You know, a 30. You know what happened? No, but and they, well, they scored like 70 points and a half. 71 72. Point, 72 points and a half. Bro. We up 15. The third quarter had a 25 point turnaround. We was up 15, we was down 10 at the start of Once the that three stopped falling? No, once I, I AD the, started falling. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? He no, lives on the ground, bam, dog. Y'all, y'all went, I, it was like three minutes left in the fourth quarter. They said they missed every three they took in the second half. And I'm watching them still chuck threes. Stop shooting threes. That's that's the game we today, unfortunately. We old, but that's where it is. Dog, let me tell you, and, and Joe said that Darvin Ham is doing a good job. He's not. 
He didn't do a good job the whole series. Yo, dog, Joker got five fouls. Why y'all shooting threes? Facts. He's the leader of the team. He's the heartbeat of the team. Get him the fuck off the court. Give it to your top five AD. Make him go to the hole and make Joker either not play D or play D to get this big motherfucker off the court. Now nah, y'all want to keep shooting threes. LeBron drives the last shot of the game. LeBron takes it to the paint. You see AD fade to the three-point line like this. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> LeBron shoots the layup. Let's say it comes off. You want to be down low for the tipping. You want to be down low for the putback. He goes to the three-point line waving his fucking hand. <laughs> what he did, yo? Come on, my nigga. You ain't Ray Allen. Take your dumb ass to the paint and get a tip back. But H don't know what you talk about. It's cool, fam. Are you going to congratulate Denver at all in, Absolutely. Your, in your rant? Or? Absolutely. No. Denver oh. plays basketball the right way. They do. They're an amazing team. <laughs> the Miami Heat, I'm watching, put on a clinic by mm -hmm. playing basketball the right way. They look like the Spurs. Yeah. That's, Dog, what, was, that's what they look like. I was watching um, y'all miss threes <laughs> and them run down the other end. Joe could get that ball. I don't care who on his back. Get off me. Get off. What does he do? You, you too, you're too small. Get Back off. Back you right down. Oh, that's what he does? <laughs> yeah. That's what the seven footer does? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got you. Instead of what? Shooting foul on jump shot. <laughs> Stupid ass nigga. <laughs> anyway. The Nuggets are the real deal, man. They are, they're really good. Real Miami's, deal. Miami's really good. They play, again, they just play basketball the right way. Boston is a more talented team, but Boston just play like they, they in the park. Up. They, they just up. play like they in the park. Like, they just don't do smart shit. Like, if the threes not went dropping and y'all lead start going down or y'all start getting blown out, start going to the hole, my nigga. You got to make easier, higher percentage shots. Bro, that's that's literally maybe 85% of the teams in the league today. Steph and Clay. If the three don't fall, get we blown. fall. True. Flat out. We just keep shooting it until it hit. Except for y'all. A finals prediction from you guys. Couch gets active. <laughs> yeah. Denver and seven. Over Miami. Mm -hmm. I think Denver got it. Maybe five, six games. I don't know. I, I Miami's just well coached. They're a good team, and Jimmy Butler's a dog. I, he's going to make it interesting. I, I, I tell you, going, I could go seven games. And Bam could play some defense. I, I'm on, not going to pick Joker. a winner because I think either one of them, I wouldn't be shocked if Denver won or Miami won. I wouldn't be shocked at all. I'm probably rooting for Miami more, but I think Denver's too good of a team right now. Oh, yeah. One more thing, too, before we leave. Um, Joel Embiid. Do me a favor, pack up your nice vehicle, put that MVP in it, and go drive that shit to Denver and just <laughs> hand it over, bro. <laughs> I, I got to say it. I have to be the one to say Thank it. You. I got to be the one to say it. Yeah, should have been Joker again. Pat, it should have been three I times. Know, I, know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but I want it, you know. Yeah, of course. You know, get, hand deliver that. That's a good Definitely one. should not have been three times. Yeah, No. Hand deliver. I don't know about the three. This year? This year. This year I don't care about the other. This year, this year, for sure. What's your prediction? Uh, I think I think the league has an interest in getting uh, Denver a championship more so than they have for Miami. getting Miami a championship. Mm -hmm. uh, Denver will have home court advantage. I think they'll have the whistle in their favor regardless. Uh, but I've also been wrong about Miami the whole way. Mm -hmm. The whole way. Uh and some people I know that, you know, people are fans of players now. Some people I know that have been just riding the Jimmy Butler train. Boy, if they look like geniuses for a few months now. Mm. They're like, oh, I don't care about the game, but Jimmy, go Jimmy. And he go out there and do it. And I'll tell you, with that fucking egg that Boston is laying out there, boy, do I feel good about the Knicks. The Bucks beat Miami once. Boston ain't going to beat them at all. We beat them twice. Yeah, I beat them twice. Yeah. Mm. Undermanned. I always say that if, if your team gets seven. beat, if your team gets ousted by a team that goes to the championship, you should be happy for that. Yeah, I'm. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm no, pretty, you be rooting for the team that beat your I'm team. I'm pretty yeah. happy with that. Miami, I, I listen, best coach team in the league for all of those undrafted players. I'm trying to get Strauss off of their team and on to the Knicks. I need to see what the Knicks do. That's that stat that uh, Pat Riley, as a player, coach, and executive, has been involved in 25% yes. right. of NF NBA championships. He's right. I know Miami. Crazy. I know. I know Spolcher's going crazy because I haven't seen Kevin Love once against the Celtics, and he kicked our ass the whole second round. Bro, that's what you keep. That he I've kicked our saying, ass the whole second yo, round. This Coaching. shit is like boxing, yo. It styles make fights against. Um, Miami played against the Bucks. You didn't see Kyle Lowry. 
he just didn't fit well for that particular series with hmm. this personnel. Kyle Lowry came to life against y'all. Kevin Love played against y'all. Kevin Love not playing in this series because it don't make for good. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Dog, mm -hmm. D-Lo should never touch the court against fucking Denver. Let me ask you. He should have never I, touched the court against Denver. Is, is, I don't know the contracts. Is D-Lo making a lot of money with y'all this year? Like 15. He's out of here. 19, it. something like that. No, because I'm saying, sometimes when it's someone that's making some Bro, money, it's gonna... about going to the championship. If it don't bode well for the team, sit your ass down. They talking about D'Angelo Russell disappeared. I'm like, no shit. Kyrie been at every game. <laughs> Sitting in the front row. <laughs> they said, yo. He dapping it up with yo, fucking. Yo. Bro, who was he dapping doing, it up with? Everybody. Doing their little handshakes. I ain't forget it. Yeah, we're going to reinvent that next year. You know, that <laughs> nah, I don't want them, but. I got to make some secret, gonna secret handshakes with y'all dudes. Or, that shit just that look, shit look like. Just that look shit like look fly. That shit look fly. That shit look so fly. <laughs> it got to be corny trying to come up with it, though. <laughs> it gotta be corny so they're Whoa, 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 whoa you got it And he's taking him A little bit longer than, Yo nigga yeah. what you doing <laughs> Fam Like this Love nigga, nigga. What you doing Like the touchdown dances In the Super Bowl I mean uh, in football Especially the defensive teams I love that But I don't like Picturing them Come up with it in practice <laughs> that you definitely rehearse it. Some big that slow. don't make it as <laughs> six eight niggas with bad feet. <laughs> um, so LeBron got up there in the post in the in the post game conference, and he was like, uh, "I have a lot of thinking to do as far as my basketball future." And then my dad calls me very angry this morning, oh, talking man. about LeBron. <laughs> is trying his best to steal the thunder away from the Nuggets' first finals appearance, and LeBron is a piece of shit, even though he has a love-hate relationship Yeah, with yeah, yeah. Pop, pop feel like um, me. For anybody that thinks that, just stop it. Just stop it. LeBron was talking to the Lakers the same way he's going to talk to whoever his front office is every year for the remainder of his time in basketball. One. Two, if y'all think self-centered, narcissistic-ass LeBron is leaving without his own farewell tour, that, that's the, the, the that greatest farewell yeah, yeah, yeah. tour that you've ever that's seen, it. then you're wrong. You're stupid. You think he's going to hang it up like that? No. No, not at all. <coughs> sure. And he just had 40. He's in great shape. He's 39. He's out there bugging out. He's, he's here. He's here for a while. He's soon to have the most minutes ever played. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you can mm -hmm. definitely see um, he, he, his age. His ten, yeah, mm -hmm. you can see it. Father Time is undefeated. And mm -hmm. you can see it. Like, yo, he left it all on the court. Yeah, I know I'm not the biggest LeBron fan. Mm -hmm. Dog, you can't say nothing about what he did last You taking night. Father Time to a tough little fight. You take it's about. <laughs> like, you're not tapping out at what are you, 48? About to be. <laughs> no, for real. You and Father Time. Yeah, you stupid. Nah, so you, you shooting the, you shooting the one with that nigga. Yo, this <laughs> nigga. You look good, man. Yeah. And you you kind of beat him. Thank you, sir. You know what I mean? Look, That's what's up. Young. I wish I could, when I get there, I hope, man, you know, I could tussle with him for as long as you've been tussling with him. Yo, so, yeah. <laughs> me too. What, what topic we on? Anyone you want, your world, anyone you wanted to be. Anyone, any one of y'all wanted to be. It's on you, OG. So, what you got? <laughs> nah, Mel's the OG. Fuck out of here. Okay. So, um, did anybody by chance see the cover of Rolling Stones magazine? Of course. Yes, of course. Yes. So, Ooh, Janelle Monet is on the cover of Rolling Stones. Okay. Um, and she she looks she looks great. She does. She looks amazing, right? She, she says she feels better with her titties out. <laughs> I feel better with her titties out too. Me I feel too. better with her well, titties and her titties out. <laughs> you guys are pigs. Boink. Or we just like titties. <laughs> <laughs> Fam, you said you feel better with her titties and your titties out. <laughs> yeah, I feel better with my titties out. Yeah. I can relate. <laughs> she looks good, man. Yeah, you, about time she shed those Steve Harvey suits and now she looks looking nice, man. Throw them shits away, but I'm happy. She looks amazing. No, she's fine. Oh, man. She's fine. Oh, man. So apparently she was uh, performing and she flashed the crowd. This is, she's having a moment. She is. She's having a moment right now. <laughs> is she? What? I mean. It's a moment of clarity. All that bullshit wasn't working before. Mm -hmm. I got shit to sell. That's what it is. Sex sells. Mmm. Not just, bullshit, excuse me, but all that artistic stuff was not working. Well, I was going to say. She had tap shoes and shit. Oh, come on, nobody want to see that shit. <laughs> like, stop. Nobody want to see that shit. Fam, this is the most I've heard Janelle, Monet, Janelle's, Janelle Monet's name said in my entire life. She hit it right on the nose. She's doing good. Titties. Titties. Titties work every time. They so you've really never do. listened to like a Janelle Monet album before? Yes. Okay. But what I'm saying is this is the most coverage that mm -hmm. I've seen for Janelle Monet. Ever. Mm. 
and it has nothing to do with music. Okay. Do you think that the cover is pandering? Yes, to me. <laughs> and it's working. <laughs> Huge fan. Huge fan. Yes. Continue to pander. That's funny. Funny. Mm-hmm. I, I agree with you. I think it's pandering, but I don't think it's pandering us. Who's it pandering mm. to? They ain't pandering us at all. So who's it pandering to? To the front. Mm. To them. To, to the women? same to people women. that every group that needs to sell some shit panders to. Mm. Black women. It's never about black men. Well, I'm 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 receive some of that pander anyway. I'm well, we're gonna, gonna enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. gonna enjoy it just by uh, default. Yeah, but yeah, that's do I think she's talking to us? No, in the messaging. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's not to us. This <laughs> is the outcry to women, and we've seen this before. Mm-hmm. Uh, my body, my empowerment. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm feel free. I'm. We have seen it. Janelle Monet has been at every award show for the past 11 years, whether it's been a song or no song. Mm-hmm. Met Gallas. Whether mm-hmm. She's been everywhere that you need to be for at least the last, at least the last seven, eight years. Correct. That says to me that there's some people somewhere with some metrics that's looking and saying, all right, this is what we need to do if we feel like going a different direction. The song ain't to men. The song is, I like girls kissing all over me. I like girls eating my pussy. Mm-hmm. I like girls sucking on my neck. That's what the song is saying. This is, a, a, this is a woman talking to women to get women to the store. Do I think Janelle Monet give a fuck if any of us buy an album? Hell no. Hell no. But I bought it, that single. <laughs> that, that's and I I'm love saying. it. That's yeah. all I'm saying. And I love it. Fire. But I love it because of how I think it, it's going. You know what I mean? It's going to run. You know what I mean? It's going to get, it, get it done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the new throw, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Tip baby. What, what are we talking about? Tip baby. Tip baby. <laughs> Yo, oh, man. Shit, you do look good. Yeah, yeah, she, 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 she looks amazing. She but I just get mad. Like, Mel, mm. Mel does this thing. She takes those, those topics that get right to her, and she put it in front of a room full of savage niggas Duh. and then say what do y'all think <laughs> I ain't letting her get me with that shit no more <laughs> she keep getting that shit off nope she I ain't know what we think man. exactly what I think mm-hmm. what do you think I think she has in- how do you feel about being used what in- in- wait how- you know what my man said figure. used how do you feel about being used wait as- wait as- I need you to expound how well did you hear anything I just said about <laughs> who I think her target oh, audience oh, is oh you think that she's that you she's think pandering she's, she's pandering to, to me yeah. Oh, mm. pander you know, away. But how do you feel about it? I feel fa- fantastic about it. I I love looking at her. I love her music. I've been a fan for a long time. I like her, you know? So whatever she does... What do you know about her? I'm good with it. What do you mean, what do I know about her? I, I know she's... Because that's my thing about people that pander. Mm. If they're pandering, then what do we really know about how they feel about anything. I haven't so had do, an in-depth conversation with Janelle Monae. But Janelle about Monae the, is not a new act. Stop, because it's going to seem like and then they go to Mel Hive. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, no, no, don't no. stop. I, don't do that damsel in distress bullshit that you do. I'm not <laughs> you going on, you going on that road? No. Actually, tell him right now that you're a grown-ass woman and you don't need to be saved, actually. <laughs> you know what? Let me, just, let me just read this tweet, okay? Because this is relevant. Shout out to Melissa Ford for being that cool ass woman that can kick it around a bunch of dudes arguing, blah, blah, blah. She doesn't seem flustered. I am not a damsel in distress. Never play that role. I am completely comfortable being in a room full of savages. Yes. So that's continue. Not, we're not, not right. even the savages. That, that, <laughs> you know what I mean? The savages. We're pretty okay. mild. We're, we're cool savages. We're, we're the mild south. We're savages. We're not savages. savages. Yes. No, you guys, so, no. Sorry. You guys are evolved. But what were we, what were we just all debating before that? What was um, I saying? She's Janelle's pandering to me. And how do I feel about her pandering to me? No. And how do you feel about being used? Used. You said. you said, how does she feel about being used? And you asked, you wanted more context. He was just basically saying that, you know, she's... Like, what do I know about Janelle Monae? Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Janelle Monae is not a new act. Mm-hmm. She's been out forever. She's mm-hmm. done interviews. She's done the mm-hmm. award shows. But what when you say, I love her, because I think it's easy to get y'all. It's easy to get y'all. Mm-hmm. When you say, I love her, what is it that you love? I love how she conducts herself and whenever she's being interviewed. I love watching her on red carpets. I love her consistency. I love her consistency as a fashionista. I love her consistency as an artist. I love her consistency about the things she's passionate about. I love the, her consistency when it comes to acting. I really enjoy Janelle Monet and her career. I, I do. I'm a fan. You got it. Yeah. Respect, Mel. You got it. Respect. I, I actually think that when you know um, artists become actors, 
Some do extraordinarily well, and some should never, ever, ever, ever try to act. Oh, I got one name what's your on that list. What, what's, your, <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite three Janelle the name Monet too. songs? She plays Monet. No, no, put your phone down. No, 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 no. no, no, no you don't no, need your phone. No, put your phone no, down. No, 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 put your phone down. No, I have no. Got he got so, you. No, no, wait, no, wait. no, 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 no. I, I didn't say so that So let she... the record reflect no, I didn't... that you can't tell me your favorite three Janelle. I couldn't tell you like my favorite, my three favorite like Alicia Keys songs right now. Like I couldn't do yes, it. Yes, you could. No, I have, All right, never mind. I have never to go mind. look at my phone. Never mind. You got it. No, I have to go look at my phone. Do whatever you want. I know somebody asked me my favorite cheesy records. I can yeah. name them when I say them. Stop. Fans, like, this is when they start jumping. You just on feel me. like no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Hold on one second here. I and said you, they jump on you. Hold too. on. I look. I <laughs> said but she does this on purpose now. It's like a gift. I said I no. I said <laughs> get a shit off. I said I'm a fan of hers. But if you say if you said name three Little Dragon out, um, records that I could I could name them right away. Why? Because that is my all time favorite group. You know what I mean? So that's my favorite. I, did I say she's my favorite? No. Melissa, Do I say I'm a fan? I yes. believe you. Yeah. I believe you. Facts. Yeah, Anytime a woman, no disrespect, showing freedom or do something to express herself. You know, here goes everybody coming running around. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We just like the titties. I don't know no song. I don't know anything. I know you had them big ass suits with the big ass shoulder pads and shit. Doing all this happy feet shit. Fire. I loved it at the time. And now you... You ditched the suit and it's fine. I'm amazed. Hey, we to talk- watch progression. You are being in tune with your inner sexuality. This is how I take it. I'm, I'm a heathen. Man, let's tell the truth. Yeah, talk We shit. like it because them titties look good. It if looks it was nice. somebody else, I'm not going to say her name, but if she went topless on the same talk. cover, they would be tearing her ass up right now. I Ooh. like it. You know, I'm my not name. saying her name. I know the song because of the titties. <laughs> Look, see, she did it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm not stupid. She did it again. It go right past me. She did it again. Right past. I just really, I'm curious. Okay. Who, if who did it? Off mic. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Okay. Anybody who titties don't look like that. Amber Rose, mm. Amber Rose been doing this for years. I ain't hear y'all doing all this. <laughs> Amber Rose been saying, my body, my titties, I should be free to walk around Talk naked. About it. And I ain't hear none of the women come singing to her. You know what? I'm, you know what? I'm Joe Chill, I've got you. She is. Almost got you. Almost. You're almost. Gonna, almost, almost. <laughs> you're gonna open up. Almost. But I learned from my brother Ish. I learned from him. He, 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 he crawled. Did he did that so we ain't gotta go through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Ish, Ish, Ish did that. Crawl so we can run. Yeah. <laughs> Away. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. Amber Rose had a slut walk that was extremely well attended for like a few years. So all of those women that you think do not, you know, kind of like subscribe to her ideology, they were all there. Stop it. What? You trying me and stop <laughs> Nigga, it. Nigga, turn the fuck up. You trying me and stop it. <laughs> Amber <laughs> Rose had a slut walk mm-hmm. and all of the sluts showed up. Facts. Like the the underground people that really was with the message showed up. Talk about it. It didn't get mainstream. I would your mainstream, Janelle Monet's mainstream. Some of the people that are championing this movement now is mainstream because she's safe. Everything always goes back to the brand and the business. I don't care. They all liars. They all liars. It, it didn't become sophisticated. You know that. We didn't see Mel out there like ah 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 ah. Nah. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, stop it. You were sitting it. in LA like this. Hello. Well, remember Rose in the slut walk? And come on, man, stop. Yeah, because I'll go find the episode where you had to cover it. And, <laughs> and, and I'll see what you was really saying about Amber Rose in the slut walk. <laughs> Janelle one day. Mm-hmm. But yeah, those are nice. She looks great. She looks great. Please, too. But I think that I think in, we have watched different in life, right? When people grow up, when they grow in front of your eyes and do something different, we all all glued to the screen. True. All of us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we had a couple of disappointments. The girl from the Cosby that became... Uh, nah, 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 chill, let me stop. But you know, she's a, she, was a, she was in the streets. One of the Cosby... Was it Cosby characters or Family Matters? Which one? The little girl... The, what's her name? Help me. I'm not helping Family you Matters. Anything. <laughs> that shit broke my heart. <laughs> that shit broke my heart, but I liked it, though. Yeah. We sick. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I, somebody has to thug this out somehow. Get this girly energy out. Ish, tell me about the time you was in a physical fight and somebody <laughs> yelled out, yo, get the cannon. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That shit stopped a lot of shit. What? 
Nigga, go get the Tell heat. me about the time you was in a fight the- and somebody was like, I don't give a fuck, boom that nigga. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> That's what you get. Yeah, I got it, man. Come on, you man. Get like Yo, that. get this male energy off me. Let me you get, get some, like some real shit. If you fight a nigga, you like, get that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tell me what y'all did when that happened. Ran. That shit happened. <laughs> that shit happened a couple of years ago. You run. That shit happened all the time. <laughs> Shoot that nigga. Nigga. <laughs> 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 you get no oh, fuck out yeah. of here. I think it's a setup though. Cause I mean to distract you. Yeah. <laughs> Can you start to look for shit? Niggas start acting like they walk into the trunk. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it be that one nigga that always go to the car. <laughs> 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 Yo, watch that, it. Hey, that's yo, watch it. Get real. Watch that nigga. That's what it gets oh, real, boy. Man. That's a good move if you're losing. Oh, yeah. Yo, go to the truck, go to the nigga. Uh, yo, that <laughs> nigga's stupid, yo. What's yo, wrong, for real. Yo. Hey, I was thinking about you the other day, though, for real, this this weekend. In what? a good way. What, what happened? They be playing with my man, right? Oh. <laughs> oh. My, man, my man got the fist of fury. I was just thinking about that nigga like, these niggas be really thinking my son won't get, I'm not, I'm not gonna call no names, but these niggas think that my son would just get, y'all fall for that love and hip hop behind the head shit if y'all want to. <laughs> Put your hands on Joseph Bunner. He's like, come outside, come on, what, what you doing? What's up? He's your hands. I thought about that shit like, nigga, they really think he's soft. They do. They do. They really think he's soft. Like, he won't give you, he really would give a nigga a fair one. And I take it a step further. I mean, it, not that he's actively looking for it, but he wouldn't mind learning a nigga or two. Mm. The crazy shit about it, but a lot of niggas don't give niggas a fair one. I was thinking about him. The this story wasn't even on the board. <laughs> My fault. I was just because I thought about it. I was thinking about you. I, about, I said, "Yo, niggas be clowning Joe, but he'll give you a fair one." Oh, well, you got a problem? All right, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get right in the street. Let's go. That, no, he won't give you a fair one. I had, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if there's fair ones out there, I had a uh, an aspiring podcaster uh, from Atlanta fly out here. So I could just talk to him. And, oh, y'all was here. Y'all seen him. Mm-hmm. Y'all seen him. He came in like we was kicking it. Yeah. And a little hotel, right? Like he was in the Joe Budden mentorship program so we could really kick it about podcasts. And I try to help him. And his name is Troy. And around the second day or the third day, I got him with me. We go into the boat day. Yo, you hungry? Let's go to the bacon, egg, and cheese spot over here. And we run to Haven. We're going to run over here. We running around. By the second or third day, he looked at me and said, yo, I got to be honest with you, Joe. Now, mind you, everywhere I go, they greet me. Ah, like it's, he said, yo, the internet perception of you, man, they couldn't be more wrong. That's true. Uh-huh. All of them niggas on the internet, if I believed all that shit, I believed, let me tell you what I believe. I believe that everybody hated you, that you had a lot of money and you was lonely, which is why you do shit like this. Like, I just thought you was bored and miserable and lonely and just rich and depressed about it because everybody hated you and wanted to put hands on you. But no, people love you. Like, even when you're not around, people are pointing to me saying, yo, you in good hands, yo. Yo, that's my man right there. He got you, go hold you down. He's like, yo, I should never believe those things. And now that I'm watching you, I see why you don't give a fuck. You happy as could be running around your little main back, getting your little shit, just shopping. Like, why would you give a fuck? I said, Troy. No. <laughs> so you play it's like, into that shit though a little bit huh? You play into that shit a little bit You do You do. Mm-hmm. This, I keep I only say every podcast That there's value in narratives mm-hmm. You do say that You do There's value in narratives I'm still mm-hmm. Keeping it real I was I was look, thinking about that Over the weekend I'm learning that About leaning into Certain narratives Like yeah. You know I be I ain't with that bullshit As long as As yeah, long against, as yeah, nobody's I'm Getting hurt that shit. Or is harmful Or threatening Anybody Right Like just a, a Narrative Shit mm-hmm. Nothing wrong With none of that At all As long as Cause if we come from The wrong narrative Could Could Mean something That's I, I think that's It's like You playing with my name now Yeah but also that's why. Also where we come from We know When You can't move around Comfortably it's a fact. That's oh, yeah. a fact. And that part is not discussed often enough. Talk about like, it. I know what it feels like to be at Dunkin' Donuts in the morning or the bodega in the morning and the nigga you beefing with also likes coffee and walked to this bodega with his man and now we just in there. That's a fact. Right? Like, I got a scar on my face now from a nigga busting me upside the head with a three liter Pepsi back in the day. All my face was getting jumped. So, I mean, like, you just know what it is. 
I laugh sometimes randomly today, right? Because back in the day in the 90s, when niggas started shooting, niggas would roll under a car. And today I laugh at it because like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> 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 fucking sitting duck. Nigga, I shoot the car, the car blow up. You other day, you dead as hell. Well, rolling under the car, if you getting jumped, is no, no. I said shooting. Shooting. Oh, shooting. I said oh, shooting. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I don't think that was bright. Yes, it was. No, no the fuck it was. But you talking about? He's talking about if he shoot the car, the, the car can't. You dead? Blow, the the car's blowing up. You done? That's hard for that to happen, though. <laughs> Niggas exactly. been watching John Wick. <laughs> Niggas been watching too many movies. Guess what's harder oh, to happen? Wait, wait, Yo, you know how many hood happen. niggas I seen set a car on fire? I with, called you one bullet? day about it. With a bullet? I've seen that before. I've seen it before, too. I've seen it You've seen a nigga shoot a car and the car blew up. Yes. Shit started to get on Blow fire up. in the back. No. We left. Huge fire. fire. I see. Yes, that. it start to get you shoot. One hundred percent. It start being fire in the back. Start always start in the back. Fire start coming up from the back of the truck. It. You I got a couple of minutes to get the fuck I out. I never seen that. But I know when niggas start. That ex called me one time. Yo, that nigga, that nigga said I lit my car on fire. Like, Bitch, what you want me to do? That nigga crazy. You better get away from him. <laughs> why you at? Why you? Yo, you better get. You be girl, <laughs> run. <laughs> Don't call me, bitch. Do you be that serious though when you say that? Cause you. Be, like, if, if somebody call you for help and you have to go out, you would go and see shit? You would handle shit? What the fuck am I doing? Are you crazy? <laughs> I just heard Summer Walker say, I want peace, but put your gun on the dresser. No, I'm not putting my life in the hands of a woman's discernment. Respect. Okay. I don't think that women have the greatest discernment. And in the past three to five oh, years, we've seen enough niggas die oh, over Shorty's That's discernment. That's a fact. I'm not playing with y'all. You're talking to a nigga that don't even go to Shorty House. Any shorter you attached to my name in the past 10 years, I ain't been out. Except for one. <laughs> I, have a key. I don't know where none of them live. They always came to your crib. Yes. <laughs> and then that became their crib. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm fucking with homeless chicks. <laughs> chicks without a schedule. Chick without parents. Chick ain't got nothing to do tomorrow. Without an apartment. These other chicks, nah, I don't know. They set you up in New York in a New York minute. That's a fact. Oh, yeah. well, that's a fact. I almost got set up before. Even if they didn't do it. And I saw the Even if too. they didn't set it up, the other niggas that live in the building see you keep frequently coming. Mm. They know what time it is. They know what your car look like. They gonna just squat mm. on your shit till you come outside. And this jackpot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they were they, they be like, yeah, I respect you so much. You by yourself. Shit, shit that's crazy. You by yourself. Yeah. Everything I don't know how how much to run around. I'm just saying, people. I did that too before. When you run around with 30 to 50 people, it gets expensive. And it invite, mm -hmm. it leave a room for the bullshit. When you, the more people you got with you. It does. You. Uh -huh. It does. Because yeah. all it takes is one of them other niggas who it came always, with somebody else. It's it don't even be you I, or your I man. I was one of the stupid niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I was one of them. You bring me around, nigga, I'm popping on first. But I never understood that about men, if you want me to be honest. I get, I get the street niggas. I get the street niggas. You got to be alert. You got to be prepared at all times. I understand them. But I never understood a man that don't have to move like that moving like that. Moving like what? I think the persona. Moving with a bunch it's, of it's men the persona, though. versus not alone, but women. Not it depends on it's your the, lifestyle. It's the image, it's the persona, mm -hmm. it's the no, lifestyle. Weird. All that plays a factor into moving lifestyle. like that. And on top of that, we see niggas just move with just women and then a bunch of niggas run into that nigga and then try to violate the yes. nigga in front of the women. Yes, that is true. We seen that. Bro, you, some of these dudes be walking around here with three and four hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? That some of these niggas got literal beefs in the street that are active. So look, I might I got But that's the nigga that gotta move like that. He talking about the that's nigga that what, don't. No, he's saying he never understood how them the two niggas right there that don't mind shooting and going to jail for you. That's a fact. So niggas keep niggas like that with them. There are niggas like that. They around. keep niggas like that with them. Nigga jump at up. all times. Like I stopped being in the jewelry because the way I like to live my life, I didn't like I didn't want to attract Mm -hmm. That it mm -hmm. is attention. To it, is. It. it definitely brings. And then it, it starts it to attract. question your manhood too. Like you got to think. Like you go into a place, and there's mad dudes in there you don't know, right? So you are shining a piece of steak in front of wolves that might not have eaten in now, a week. Now, do you tuck your chain? Now, do you tuck your chain mm -hmm. and feel emasculated, or do you wave my fucking shit in front of these niggas' faces? That's a decision that you got to make. At, my no, chain not, not for me, because I was talking my chain regardless. Nigga, my chain tucked right now. Yeah, I'm tucking my chain. You get my point. You are tucking your chain. You get my you get my point. But if that's I, a decision. I'm, no, I'm not wearing make. a chain. That's the point. I'm not wearing a chain. That's the point though. However, if I had a chain, it wouldn't even be the it would be to wear tucked. It would be so you could see the clasp on the back. 
And that's it. Also, but that defeats anytime the I ever most. got... Can't enjoy your fruit. Well, that depends on the person. Well, that's the thing. I'm a big fan of... Oh, what's How do you say it? You're not supposed to have things when you're not supposed to have them, right? Like, when niggas was buying me jewelry and I didn't work hard for it and go spend my own money for it, I was just doing bullshit, like showing up to places you shouldn't be with mm -hmm. jewelry on. Mm -hmm. Two o'clock in the afternoon, you over here in the projects, you running over here. When niggas was loaning me their car that I didn't pay for, the fly shit, that I was begging the bar, I went and drove everywhere that I shouldn't have drove. I was right around Newark, movie did, hey, what's up? Late night, car racing, all of that shit. But it's, <laughs> what? He was doing bullshit, he was doing bullshit. <laughs> He right though. No, stupid. You for too. I did the same shit though. Mm -hmm. Same shit. I remember Webb Webb got the uh the Magnum. Webb got the Magnum. The first you know, the the uh the second day he let me drive it. I went mad far with that shit, son. You just get a feel. I would fall. He was calling me mad times. I went to the barber shop. I went to the hood. <laughs> All I went web to Brooklyn. cars is Joe Button car in Jersey. <laughs> All, every web car is Joe Button car in Jersey. And web shit used to be smelling good. I used to yeah. try to pick up every girl on the way. You get yeah, some shit you ain't supposed to have. They had yeah. those little, those you start hitting 30 girls. You just wait. Yeah. Pulling up. Vanilla roll. Pulling up. Where you ain't supposed I'm coming to your house. Vanilla What's those little pebbles? Was, he had the little pebbles the little in the salt. The little, yeah, 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 the yeah little, in the, um, in the thing. Yeah. Fam, our man, born, had the SL600. Gave the shit. I'm 19. You give me a brand new SL600 for the weekend. I'm, I, I look back on my life, but I shouldn't be here. Mm. Same. Just the stupid shit that I put myself into. I'm 19 driving the SL600 in the projects at the fucking stoplight, hitting the button, dropping the top in the trunk, mm -mm. <laughs> pulling it back up just because. Nigga shit. Stupid nigga, nigga shit. shit. Nigga shit. Yeah. Nigga shit. Like anytime they robbed me, I deserved it. Okay, hold on now. It's true. <laughs> Hold on. I'm with him. It's true. I know about taking accountability, but sometimes that shit, <laughs> you're taking too much accountability, nigga. Don't put uh, other accountability. Any, anywhere talk. something like that happened to me or any time in my life, I say this all the time, I was somewhere that I just wasn't supposed to be. What yep. make you not supposed to be there, though? Knowing you went better. To, you Knowing went, better. You went there for a reason. You no, went no. to see someone. You went, no, so you can't. no, no, no. No, there was okay. no reason. So there was no reason. You didn't go visit nobody. I, I made a reason. Yo, I got these chains on. I got this car. Okay. I got this I outfit. I want to be seen. I, I want to go over here mm -hmm. versus maybe a studio, a date, just anything that your age group should be doing. But that's how it is when you don't work for what you have. Got it. He right. Mm -hmm. That's how it is when you don't work for what you have. If mm -hmm. I were, if I had to work for those things that I was trying to stunt with, you try to protect. I wouldn't have even had the time to be there. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been there. Yeah. It's a fact. It's that's a legit. fact. I see what you're saying. It's a fact. But even, that's if the, even if you had the time, you would have valued it differently mm -hmm. and yes. not put yourself into no, it. But, yes. but, 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 but do you, though? Like, yes. When you're, when you're young and, and you have money and people are looking out for you, the first thing we want to do is show it off and have fun. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking, see that, I'm not, but I'm not talking about when you're young. Everybody has to be young. I'm okay. talking about the point that each person uh, individually gained understanding. That part comes different for people. Mm -hmm. We all was young. I'm on the fence. But everybody we was all young. But Joe, everybody understand it's different from yours. No, 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 that's why I said everybody individually, Has whenever you curve. come to understanding is when that is. I got mm -hmm. it. But evolution is we all got to be young and we all got to do stupid shit so we look back and say, now the goal, the goal in that is to survive. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. The goal in that is to be alive to get to the understanding. Why, when mm -hmm. niggas ask go. me why I don't drink, I've seen a lot of shit happen to drunk me people, too. though. But, I've mm -hmm. seen a lot too, of me niggas too. get caught slipping drunk. Me too. A lot of them in my own life experience. So I don't want to be one of them niggas. But then it makes you think about the street niggas, right? So like me being young, you see Webb and them niggas, new cars, Nitty and all them niggas fly new shit. Hear Envy talk about it, then they pull up in the hood. They're around, they respect it. So is it that, are they the lucky ones or they just know how to move? Right? You it's understand what I'm saying? Both. It's a little Then you hear about them in Brooklyn. It's who the lucky ones? Did, no, I'm just saying like, Shit didn't happen to them niggas when they had the, the cars and when they was, you know, enjoying the fruits of their labor. Shit didn't happen to them niggas. I don't when know. It, not, yeah, I don't. Listen. I don't the know stuff, them. The stuff that happened pertaining to them was when they was involved in, in shit that we not involved in. We talking about, we talking about, listen, we talking about, I'm talking about driving it's and all, then, you said the, what? It's all the same. It's all, it's all the what's, same. What's all the same? It's all the same. All of it is a part of that. I you seen niggas drive expensive cars and come to the neighborhood and nobody bother them. Oh yeah, that's they possible. They be in neighborhoods. You, you, you drive late at night. You see a fucking 
Web white car and forty projects four in the morning. I seen it and nobody bothered. Wait, I'm wait, wait, about wait, those type wait, of wait, 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 wait. Hold on. And I'm saying I don't know them, so I don't want to talk on them. But you also I know him. He's speaking for no, privilege. Listen, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm speaking for privilege. The fact that any nigga can do that in any projects in the world, any projects. So I, let's take it off of those guys. My friends did the same shit, right? We pull up top down. Don't gotta put the top up in the middle of projects that niggas was getting escorted out of. Mm -hmm. But them niggas laid the groundwork for that level of respect. So it's a whole circle. Like Corey saying, it's a circle. Nigga, the shit that they had to do to get feared to where I could leave my car outside with the top down, it, it, it all ties in. I agree. Feared, respected, mm. or have the network to be able to do it's, mm. it's different. That's it's a why consequence I say, when you do that shit. That's why I say shit. you speak from privilege. Because yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you keep talking about niggas that are in the top 5% of what they do. Got it. Like... What is that? That's that the timer. Time the time. Oh, the, the timer wants to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> all this started because because for you telling people, uh, telling the audience that people think I'm pussy and that I want to prove them wrong. I mean, it's, 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 it's a good time. What you do? You, people, but people, I didn't speak pe to you about nothing. Pe How do you know? You reading me? People, am I dressed that way? People, you play to a narrative of scary. No, you, I don't. No, you don't. Wait, no I don't. Wait, hold on, stop. Scary. You pay not scared. Okay, all right. Let's 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 be sem semantics. You play into a narrative that I am a civilian, which you are. I want no problems and stuff like that. And none of that's a narrative. All that's true. It's not it. true. I understand. It is true. I get this point. Explain it to me. Ooh. You could be a yo. civilian that can fight. No, but no, wait, stop. But Joe, let me let me, let me finish my point. Hold on, hold on. Like, let me finish my point. And I want he plays into this narrative, right? And the people that are close to him, right? Mm. Sometimes a narrative come on to us. Not that we are the person, but they question these things. How you gonna roll with a nigga like that and stuff like that? Or how you gonna co-sign a nigga like this with this type of character? Unbeknownst to them that this nigga, if you go up to him or play with him or you think he's palsy or you think he's pussy, just try him and he will you'll get your, educate you'll, you'll, yeah, you you'll get your more than you think you would. You, he may give you a PhD in, <laughs> in, that, situ in that situation. Because well, when see, you get around and you start to hear things and you listen, you're like, oh, okay. But see, that's something that you um, that you said. You know, they, they're questioning his character. They don't know him. You get what I'm saying? But other So, so you just going off. That's what anybody How much time do. people came to you about Joe Ish? How much time people came Pl to you about plenty Joe? Plenty of time. But at okay. the same token. He, it's not well, bothering him. His, he got the plugs in his look, ears. It's not bothering me either because I know him. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's not that I have plugs in my ears. It's like I just been saying. That is not in my real world. Mm. There's nobody in my day to day that comes up to me with any of the shit that you're talking about. Really? Right. Not a one. No. It flip. Is it because is it because you control your environment? No. Because yes. controlling your environment means you don't go into the areas where you have to hear these things that we hear. People are not gonna say the shit that they say like online or whatever to. But it's not online. Shit. Okay, right. you talking about online or like, like, or like even having a, like a conversation. Let him step up into the like, conversation. Well, I, I and suddenly, everybody will be mute. I'm gonna give you an example. example. When he started playing with his, you know. Um, Sexuality. Sexuality narrative, mm -hmm. right? I walked in the barbershop and they couldn't wait for me to walk in there. <laughs> Yo! My phone was on fire. <laughs> Your man! My phone was on fire. Android was blowing up with that little <laughs> funny like, ringtone, right? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> laughing. Do 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 do. Nick, do 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 do. But hold on. Let me finish. The question I'm asking them is Nigga, what the fuck that got to do with me? If that is true, what does that have to do with me? True. This is why I respect you niggas. I respect you niggas because your maturity level is so amazing to me. Me, not me. A nigga <laughs> said to me, a woman, no disrespect, or a man, and your man, no, he's not. And I'm arguing with you. Based off of what? My nigga, my nigga jerseys in the Raptors and the ones that you was jerking off to, he didn't have, like, I go into those <laughs> moments. Oh That's God. where I'm from. Oh, <laughs> this nigga really be out here trying to defend my name. No, because really no, no, but, but this is where I come, no, this, but, and, and it is kind of immature. Now we but, all go. But, but this is where I come from. I come from defending. I, I would want my friend to defend me. If somebody mm -hmm. comes to Joe, let's like say if it's a sophisticated conversation. Mm -hmm. The Queens flip guy, man, I don't think that he knows how to pod. He's not good. He wouldn't be good. You shouldn't have him up there because he's immature. I would expect Joe for knowing me and knowing and watching and doing some research to defend me of nah, that's not really true. In an see, environment, I have a totally different see. I, now let me tell you. Now that. look. Huh? Now flip. No, I'm just if, talking about the environments. The environments look. that we're in, people. The environments that we're in, the barbershops, the hood. When a nigga see us, they're going to say now check the this nigga out. that you with acts palsy. But look, listen, listen. That, that example you just used. If somebody was to come to me and say, because this happened, yo, I, I like y'all niggas, but that nigga flip, yo, he don't know what he's doing. Y'all need to get him, fam. What do you know? 
That's how I look nah, at I'm it. Mm -hmm. I'm with Flip on it. I'm not. I don't have to defend. Like fam, he's doing his job. You no, don't know the inner work. What we gonna do? Shit. I'm you don't know what you're talking about. I ain't got time to defend nothing. You don't know the people. You don't defend people. I defend. I defend. I defend. But it needs to be defended when there's something that needs to be defended. Everybody's talking over each other. You can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I defend it just when it needs. Yeah, to a point. Yeah. There's a point. There's a point to which you defend. You don't have to like go super crazy. It's like, where are you? so what if a nigga record you standing there while your man, while your man being talked about, and it gets to your man front desk? I'm just saying. No, these happen. Shit, nigga being nah, these happen. I stand with Flip on this, but um, I think you'll get to a point where, or you'll get enough money to where you'll drown it out. Say no more. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not there yet. So niggas come up to me talking about flip. I'm like, dog, that's showmanship. Yeah, exactly. Like, yo, when the mic cut off, that nigga don't act like that. Mm. That nigga mad quiet. He mad reserved. He don't act like that. when the, Word. I'd be like, yeah, he, he's nothing like that when the mic cut off. The nigga like a teddy bear when the mic cut off. Don't say all that. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like you said something. I wasn't even saying what I'm saying. Like, put that out there. Don't say all that. No, I'm just saying, like, yo, dog, it's, it's not that. It, it, My it, thing on is, the mic when the go time, that's his character that he playing for the production. The day, yeah, production. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. That's it. People just be wanting to feel like they got some inner behind the scenes shit. They with love them. Yeah, that so shit. like, so you I'm don't have none of that. So yo, I'm gonna dispel the myth. But dog, you don't have none of that. This, this is the nigga version of what I was just clowning Parks about. It's the thinking, right? Like, Park shouldn't be thinking about where to park his car. It should get to a different thought. Mm. If I'm surrounded by anybody that's thinking, oh, he pussy, I should, oh, then this is off. <laughs> Nobody in my business conversations, in my social circles, in my travels to the places I go is having any thought over who's pussy and who's not pussy. Mm -hmm. That so stopped a while ago. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, it's I'm controlling. No, look, I would agree with you. It's controlling your environment. Not the, everything out, outside of your strip club settings, I would agree with that. Because when you go to these strip clubs, these niggas will be like, yo, this pussy ass nigga, da da da, sizing you up. That's also, a possibility. But also, but you, when I go to these strip clubs, just so we are very clear, I know the hip hop police that are parked around the corner. Mm -hmm. I know the people, the I usually know, fuck the bouncers, the cops that's sitting in front of the place. Mm -hmm. I usually know, if I don't know them, I'll speak to them too. I know every bouncer here. I know the owner. I know the street niggas that's protecting the owner when he walks the money out. I'm, it's not just like a reckless, a reckless. This is a controlled environment. This, 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 this for me is as can't controlled. Happen, but anything can happen anywhere. It's, it's controlled. But this is as controlled for me as that can get. I go borrow money now up out of there from, yo, I need five grand, wire it to you to, tomorrow. I want to go in his pocket sometimes. Like, that's where, you want to go where you well received or where you think you well received. Mm -hmm. Not anywhere where the wrong look is now getting you into something. Oh, you stepped on my shoes, we getting into something. True, I oh, I ain't like how you spoke to me, so we got to get into something. Mm -hmm. You want to go where the value of life is a little... Higher. Where people I, treat it yeah. a little better than that. I, I've been For having me. A, I've been having this argument even with, with G Money, right? Because G Money said, yo, we can get a lot of bookings flip, and a lot of people want you in places. But every time I go to a club, I end up fighting. <laughs> Last time I went to a club 2016, I got jumped in a club in Queens in 2016. Because mm. I punched him in the face. Why? Because he was telling me about he haven't seen me in a long time and being too touchy and I'm acting fly and stuff like that. And nigga like your grateful so, dad. So, 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 so no, no, what I'm saying is that and G Money. His mom and shout out to G Money, but he always says like, we can get some 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 money together, man, because people want to book us and they want you to appear. No, I believe in controlling my environment. I'm not going to a club yeah, and doing no walkthroughs and appearances. And I, and they did a calculation when we went through the email. I lost a lot of money, mm -hmm. but I, I'm tired of fighting in the club. I just said that on uh, when I did Elliot Wilson shit. It's not out yet, but it'll be out at some point. But I was telling him right like. I'm I'm not out here at the club hosting. I ain't I ain't at the strip club on the mic and that there's no flyers with my location running around like I move today the exact way I am supposed to but move. Isn't that bad though? All of that hip hop shit that you niggas do, drop low. Yo, where you at? 
<laughs> I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm home. Let me know if I need to greet just, you appropriately. Or the desire like, to go out and get every single bag just because you can. Or just to that, be in the mix. Being in the mix. That's being it. in the mix. But, but, how, how, but how, I ain't in the mix. You, you got to earn it when you see me. You got to earn it. Sometimes being in the mix helps. Situations. I don't want to be in the mix. Uh, if you want to be in the gotta mix, be, no, 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 I'm no, 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 Got to be the right mix. mix. I'm cool. Yeah. Got to be the right mix. Yeah. I'm, I'm so cool. The mix changes as you elevate. It does. Rooms change as you elevate. I understand. I understand. Yeah. And sometimes you don't. If you don't need the money, you don't need to be there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like got, it's okay. Sometimes we get caught up in the internet world of yo, go out and get the bag and get wealthy and get do da 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 da. But sometimes it's like. If you don't need that, you don't need to be putting yourself in a position to yeah, be like low hanging fucked fruit. up. Yeah, low hanging fruit shit. And mm-hmm. you got to be comfortable in who you be. Like, you be who you be. True. Yeah. Nothing about me outside says to anybody outside, yo, go try him. That's not, that don't happen for me. <laughs> well, you be walking fast away from shit, though. No, I walk fast because I move with intention. <laughs> should be cr- I mean, you can't get me tight. No, but don't, don't misrepresent oh, me. Oh, me. I you walk know what I mean. fast because. Why would you want to ever be stationary or moving slow? I That's, learned that. I God. learned that. I got that you. That comes from celebrityism. What's the, is that the word, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That comes from that. No, I understand. When I mean you walk fast, that hold up, hold up, hold up. He's a Jay Z shit. There's, I don't, there's nobody out here going, for me up, to talk up. to. There's not. There's not a business proposition here. This ain't even how I conduct business. I'm not in the music business. I don't need to hear a song. There's no. There's, there is no reason for us mm-hmm. to have a long exchange while I'm out. Got you. Did you have to, last question about this. We have to get to like a show. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> like, well, I know that you're doing your therapy Wednesday in probably. No, 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 But no. we have to like get to some things. Let's get to it then. The color purple. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen, I just, I wanted to get the thugs. I wanted to, after all that Janelle Monet. I mean, I'm like a shot of some shit in here. I don't know why they touched that movie. Um, but it looks good. So they kind of changed it. So it's not like a remake of The Color Purple. Okay. Yeah. They kind of changed the premise around. Um, and so the storyline is more kind of depicting like the play that was on Broadway. So if you haven't seen that, then you really won't know. So, but I ain't seen the play, the movie, read the book. <laughs> you've never books. seen The Color Purple, the no, original? No. Really? That's no. with Whoopi Goldberg, right? Uh, it's with Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Never seen it. Speaking of Whoopi, mm-hmm. isn't that Gail King that's on Whoopi's ass about having doubt over the uh, Prince Harry and Meghan paparazzi chase? Yep. She made it on a weird little. Yeah, it was a weird little exchange. Three sixty degrees of separation. Whoopi agreed with us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she did. She was just like, "It's New York City." She said it. Where? How was there really a paparazzi chase? I don't where? like this thing where the media does, where for people to use have doubt or use their brain and question some shit. Now they the bad guy. Shut the fuck up. That's the way it is. Now you either with Shut it the or the enemy. Up. You, can't, you can't even question shit no more. I hate it. No. I think it was like yo, an ambulance can't can't get through. Get through. City. But you telling me y'all can't in the cab. Right, and that there was a chase, was a chase. near yeah. catastrophic chase yeah. where they almost lost their what lives. Are you talking about, man? No, don't lie to me. Stop right. lying to me, okay? Right. And they interviewed the cab driver, so yeah, he said it come was on, a man, Come on, stop. Yeah, He's I got a question for you. Mm-hmm. Shoot, give me some of your favorite songs that make you go crazy that you don't know the words to at all. Oh, flip, oh, flip so got a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> Insert all your bad bunny shits. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely, but, all that shit. March Madness, nigga. <laughs> you, I, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I ain't playing for the marriage. <laughs> like me average. I know it. I, I learned it. I learned. I learned it through repetition. But nigga, I used to throw money in the strip club with March Madness. Come on, and I didn't know what the fuck that nigga was saying. A lot of future songs. I don't know what that nigga is talking about. But that shit. I be hype. I, I can't mean, believe he said March Madness. That's, that's, that's like, yeah, wow. it, I didn't know what he was saying the first time. Forty five. Second time either. Good shit. Nirvana, good, good, Nirvana good, good, smells good. like Teen Spirit. I've been jamming to that song for <laughs> thirty five years. I have no idea what he's saying in that shit. <laughs> that is a good one. And the verse of the that's hook. a good one. None of it. <laughs> Yo, that's a good. One. Shut up. That's a good one. For real? No, not really. Not really. I don't know it. I don't know it either. We did that shit at karaoke a couple weekends ago. Like, that's the one. Yes. Here we are. Yeah. Now. I didn't think it was like a one. Yeah. If it was on, I would, be, I would, I would know. Yeah. I, don't yeah. know. I would know it. If it was on, I would know the hook. Mm-hmm. There's, yeah, there's songs that when the hook plays, automatically yeah. it kicks in. But if you try and recall that shit without it playing, it's like... Um, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Living on a Prayer, Bon Jovi. See, now there's no reason for you to not know Living that on a Prayer clear. by Bon Jovi. Okay, no, yeah. I, know the, I know the chorus when that kicks in. Oh, the verse. Yeah, but then when the verse is, I don't know the What's fuck that. that uh, yeah. Tony used yeah. to work on the docks, right? That's what... Something, yeah, and somebody fell in love and blah, 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 and they're poor, but making it happen. A lot of these songs, fam. Yeah. A lot of these songs. Yeah, you know what's funny about y'all? I, I, I brought this topic up, like I wrote it down, and the songs I came up with were not English songs. <laughs> <laughs> like I was going to get into uh, Pepas. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know nothing about that one. Yeah, you know that. We played on the mm-hmm. horn. Coming though? Yeah. Yeah. I, I know that. <laughs> I don't know I what they're doing I talking about. When the hills hit the floor and the skirt starts spinning in the air. I know that part. <laughs> well, so, there's always gonna be some Spanish girl in the club trying to give me some pussy that's gonna tap me and say, you know what they're talking about? Pills. Fuck it. Yes. We looked it up one time. I think oh, what, what, what song is this? Pepas. Faruco. You know the song when you hear it. He probably don't because he'd be in Amazon. He'd be, he'd be nowhere, <laughs> he, he don't be nowhere where Spanish people be at. <laughs> you know, I mean, Amazon, yeah. I do. Oh, man. And all of the fucking uh, reggae songs. <laughs> I know the words to those. I know the words to those. All I know is searching and searching. That's it. <laughs> but what's my other shit I was singing yesterday? And I, well, I know the words now because, of course, I fast ass knew the words. But action. No, 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 no. We know the back of mouth. Yeah, it's all, it's all, it's all non-English shit. <laughs> That's a fact. But I know what it is. You don't know. I need yeah. some action. Tender satisfaction. Uh-huh. Ish. What? Did you just skip what I did? The, say the say the words to my part. Uh, action. Not to. Let me hear. Right. Now you muted up, bitch. Right. I, don't I, don't know. Know. <laughs> I don't know that bullshit you said. It's not bullshit. Hey, easy. Whoa, watch yourself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not bullshit. Watch, watch yourself. Whoa, whoa. Watch whoa, whoa, whoa. yourself. Listen. Watch Stop. yourself. The West Indian blinking, community nigga. will come for you. Yeah, don't stop breathing hard, nigga. Mm. Suave mente. Your ass out of here. <laughs> stop. Flip, shut up. Sing it first one time. Flip. I don't know the words neither. Oh, oh, <laughs> fake ass, ass Jimmy. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? The fight. Devin Haney. Devin Haney. Had a fight over the weekend. That was a great oh, fight. Man. It was a great fight. It was a good fight. I didn't see it. I liked it a lot. Didn't even know. Really good fight. Uh, I didn't know anything about Devin Haney's opponent going in. Really? Oh, I'm a nice. casual boxing fan. Oh, yeah. No, he, <laughs> was, he was, yeah, he was, he he was him. Someone recently he was him was, for a good four years. Like, he was fucking people up for a good four years. Yeah. yeah. I heard. He was fucking people up. I heard. Like, And I heard he was supposed to be like... Him on his last yeah, but he older now. That's what I'm saying. And so they they was counting him out. They was looking at it like it was a touch up fight almost. It was a good opponent, but Devin Haney should beat him because mm. basically what the marketing machine is doing in boxing is they're doing a Devin Haney Tank Shakur threesome, right? Pause. Yeah, you have to make it all that, but <laughs> only y'all brains went there. Sorry. But they really marketed those three boxers against each other, and we and we going up. Remember how they did Floyd and um Manny, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that shit ran a little biography, whatever for six seven years until they finally met. Mm-hmm. That's, That's what they've time. been kind of uh, bigging up these three dudes: Devin Haney, True. Shakur, and Tank to somehow meet. Okay, mm-hmm. so. The Devin Haney Loma fight is almost like a yo. You ain't really been fighting nobody. Getting there with him, he on his last leg. It's gonna be make for good TV, and it it made for good TV, but not fight. in the way Devin Haney thought it was gonna make for good TV. Mm-hmm. I think that fight hurt him. I think it did as well. It killed him. It's it basically. I don't want to do. It show my some, people, chi- it show my some chicks in his armor. With, my my peoples fuck with Devin Haney, so. I'm just being a, a, a observant. Bias. Yeah. You're being diplomatic. I, I'm being. So you're being non, non, objective. non-objective. I'm being I'm ob- non-objective. I'm about to be objective. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Devin Haney has a bunch of flaws and a bunch of gaps in his boxing ability. And what he just showed was that I can't step in the ring with Tank. I'm not going to be able to step in the ring with Shakur neither. They just light years above him. I think this fight hurt him way more than it helped him. Even though he came out with the win. It just hurt him. I just I, think yeah, hurt him. I think it hurt a lot too. I, hurt, I think it hurt him. 
Nobody want to pay to see that now. They kind of mm -hmm. lost marketability. Nobody even want to pay to see Shakur fight him now. Like, yo, come on, stop. Tank will fuck him up. Seriously. Yeah. He said he may change his weight class. He better change something. Because they robbed uh, Loma. He really won that fight. And that's his black. So he'd be did. like, yo, get him. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> they robbed us for years, but fuck it. But if you really want to tell the truth. I tweeted that. I want to if be If you on, really want to tell the truth. I tweeted that. I wanted to be on some black power word. shit, but yeah. I couldn't, man. Yeah. I wanted to be on some black power shit, man. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't like when sports be um uh unfair. I don't like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, a little more on those that middle, he middle last, to end. He won yeah. the last three rounds. But it's a business, and like you said, if they've been they trying can't to push market that, Loma. yeah, they got mm -hmm. yeah, you gonna get this old win. ass Ukrainian dude. Just yeah, you left, left to go left to the war to come fight yeah. him. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't market that. We can market Devin Tank Shakur. Devin Tank Shakur. We are gonna mm -hmm. just keep playing three off of each other until we run it up to a couple hundred million. Mm -hmm. okay. You know what I'm saying? So I never saw Shakur fight. Really? He's nice. So really? silky. Yeah. yeah. Silky. It's a big jersey right there, too. Mm -hmm. big, nice. big jersey. I'm really sad because of this decision. What can you tell, guys? We all love boxing. We all respect he boxing. He killed his post-game interview. It's, sometimes it's happened. Sometimes it's happened. My father always teach me during a life, you need to win uh, without question. Looks clear fight. But today maybe was not clear fight. Today maybe was not mm. a big domination from my side. You sound like a good guy. But I understand it. Good man. Because it's what. It's All bad. day, his son calling him. And saying, and the new, and the new. Come on, man. That's real. And you go out there and you fight your fucking ass off. And that's what happened? Oh, wait, here goes Shakur. Let's read. Let's, let's just go. The city. Your assessment of what you saw tonight between Devin Haney and Vasily Lomachenko. Two men in your weight class. Lomachenko should be undisputed champion. He won. Mm. Wow. He won. he won that fight. What was it about his performance tonight that makes you say that he deserved the win? He landed the cleaner punches. He landed the cleanest shots on Dev, and he, he pushed the pace. What you saw tonight means that if Devin Haney decides to stay at 135, you could potentially get a shot at the undisputed title. How much do you want that fight? Let's make it happen. I think that should happen next. I think um, Devin not on my level, and I'm going to show it. <laughs> Big Jersey talking He's right running into it now. Y'all want to set it up for next week? <laughs> oh, yeah. If that's what he got? Please. Hey, clear the ring out. Please. We can fight right now. Like, yo, please. <laughs> That's how he looked at it. I saw the interview live. He was like, yo, dog, is he not on my level? He's nowhere near on my level. After this, mm -hmm. he, I'll beat his ass in a phone booth. Like, that's how he yeah. was talking. And I saw something else uh, with Tank saying that uh, Haney can't sell tickets. <laughs> he can't sell out fights unless it's in his hometown or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. So outside of the, the skill set that these gentlemen have, it's about... Box office. M yeah, marketability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Market and that's, I still that's don't think we're getting none of the good fights. No that's what I'm saying. The machine is put, they were pushing a Devin Haney, Shakur, Tank. Mm -hmm. Devin Haney. Tank is really the only person selling fights. Ooh. You really want to keep it a buck. Shakur don't really sell them like that neither. Mm -hmm. Tank is the tank is the draw in boxing. He is. He is. Yeah, he is. He is. I'm well, it was a good weekend. Though. It was a good weekend to stay inside. It that was. was. Oh, yeah. But the playoff games, Sports, the fight, fight. Mm -hmm. like it was a good weekend to stay in. Sure. It was. I don't know how y'all feel about um, Tom Brady being now a part owner of the Raiders. And I feel like I said this before at some point. Raiders. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, because yeah. because of it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, he, um, he did. They said he, he a minority owner and he takes place in no business decisions. For the so. most part, he just put, <laughs> no. I'm just saying, he just put money. And, and just a put lie. money on. And it's a lie. And it's a be. lie. Tom Brady don't take place in no <laughs> business. I'm, like, I'm sure they probably ask. They don't know what percentage he bought. Like they ain't say what percentage he bought. 
It still probably be. ask him what he thinks, though. It's possible. It's what do you think, smart. Tom? Yeah. Not possible. It's the smart thing to do. Yeah. Got the goat over here. Yeah, what do you think about this? Yeah, game? what do you think about us doing this, yeah. goat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't have any thoughts on that. Mm-hmm. I'm much more glued to uh, Hove and Beyonce. Buying getting, a $200 million house. No, buying oh. a $295 million house, getting a deal for $200 million. <laughs> Cash. Yeah. And paying cash. And there's a report that came out that said this is their weekend home. I'm like, all right, dog, enough. <laughs> enough now. You're playing with us now. And this home is 21 miles up from our Malibu $100 million house. They're like, on Billionaire Row. Yes, mm-hmm. Billionaire Row. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's, I mm. think they move with intention all the time. So it mm-hmm. got some financial dope-ass ramifications. If it was a two ninety five and we got it for two hundred, we up a hundred million in equity. It's rich people business. Shut our peon asses up. <laughs> you the one trying to explain it. <laughs> you the one trying. No, you, yo, that mean they up a hundred million in the, the equity. The equity. You yeah, no shit. The topic, nigga. Nah, they they doing it right. They doing it right. I want to see inside that motherfucker. That, you I want to know see from they the pictures, pictures outside. You can see inside that motherfucker. That no, shit is I need, crazy. I need a up close. I oh, need yeah. to know. I need, I need what talk. amenities that marble, come with. That marble is thicker than Janet Jackson. That shit probably like this, yo. <laughs> yeah, she ain't the thickest. But <laughs> I get what you're saying. You get my point. I get what you're yeah, saying. They, that shit is imported. So that means they got the the most expensive house, house ever sold and car now mm. in the United States. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Jay did buy the ugly ass Rolls Royce, mm. twenty eight mil or something. You seen like that. that car? Yes. Oh. Can't call it ugly when it costs that much. That. No. <laughs> can't, can't call it ugly when it's not ugly. I don't, yeah. I don't think that car is ugly at all. Okay. You wouldn't either. What does it? You just what, does, no. what does it do? If you like that bullshit ass Beamer you had, then you would I'm, like I'm that. Kidding, I'm, kidding. Like that <laughs> no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, no, they they got him. Stop playing my man. Fix your face too before that nigga pull up on you one day. <laughs> Fix your face before you pull that car up next to your car one day. <laughs> what the fuck they got to do with anything? You, everything. No, no, it don't. Joe, just because something don't cost. Oh, please. You put your shoulders just in the glove. Just because something costs money, Stop that it, don't yo. mean that's dope. You're pardon right now. Stop I'm it. not pardon. You're right now. Yeah, I'm but not. you my man. I'm not, though. Just because some shit costs some money, that don't make it fly? I, I, I agree with that. Okay. However, if that vehicle pulled up to the light, next to your vehicle while you got your whole family in the car on your way to some ill shit and your kid look old. Damn. Damn, Ooh, man. What's that? Daddy. <laughs> or, they, or, they start, or they start playing, that's my car. <laughs> yeah. <they're, laughs> uh, Oh shit! Ish, what are you talking about, y'all? I'm looking at the car, Erickson. We gonna put this boat. She look, the shit is swimming. Look, the shit is in the water. Swim. What is he talking about? Let me see it. What is he talking about? Look at that. Pass, pass that on around for you, so everybody Flip, know we talking. Flip just pulled up a different car. Yeah, no, that's the car. Ugly, <laughs> not. Yeah, no, that, that I don't. Ish, just be pardon sometimes. The same shit. That should have no, put shit. your little that's Grand Cherokee away. That's not the car. That, that shit will finish that's your Grand car. Cherokee. That shit is fly. That's not the car. Just know when this pull up next to your Wagoneer. You're finished. <laughs> oh, shit. And then he's going to go pop the trunk and put the umbrellas up in the back with beach chairs and just sit there at the light <laughs> while you're there with your family little wagon. Get out of here, nigga. Kick that rocks. Is that is the car. Look. That's that's the the car. Car. Look, no, no, no. no. That's, no I thought that's, it was the other let's shit. pause so he can apologize and recant that take. Because if that car pull up, the Android Wi-Fi is slow, but we doing a show. <laughs> <laughs> we doing a show, though. That shit's sexy. Anyway, congratulations <laughs> to Hove and B and Sheesh. Dan. See, mm-hmm. and that's what I mean. When you read shit like that and you see shit like that, mm-hmm. I don't have time for who snitched. Yo, can you fight? <laughs> like... <laughs> that ain't even in my ministry today. I don't have time to waste out here bugging. True. How do you read this stuff and not be inspired Fact. to do something? Anything. It's to unlearn all the nigga shit, though. That's what, because the nigga shit is what's keeping you focused on who snitching. No, they, we selling that. the nigga shit to the, we selling the nigga shit to y'all so we can get y'all money. All my single ladies, all my single ladies. I don't hear nobody talking about, Dan, look at that dual income household and how they body and shit together as a couple. Uh-oh. Huh? 
that quiet. togetherness thing. Quiet. It mute up. They get real quiet. We start talking about that togetherness thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's take the best of you, put it with the best of me, and let's go forward till we die. And the guys die first. Statistically uh, speaking. Actually, rather. no. Stati statistically speaking, men live longer when they're married. Show me that. They do. No, it is. It's true. it's true. It's true. I heard y'all both say that. Wait, are you saying men now live longer it. as married, but or or is it do they men outlive their wives? I don't believe that for a second. Do they outlive their wives? I don't believe nothing they talk about. No, that, that's, so, uh, that's that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking, about. That's what we're talking about. Let's do so it together until we so, die. So and men die first. If they show you, are you gonna believe it? Or we show me. Yes. Showing, I'm asking you to show me, condescending prick. Man married men live longer. Because we've shown you about that's not what we're saying. He his point was That was a cutaway. That was a cutaway. <laughs> well, I was waiting for my apology a from Mel or Asia or anyone. No. Sorry, I was wrong. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Husbands mm -hmm. die first. That's what we're saying. Husbands die first. Um, but married men. men live longer than single men. Is the point. It was just a, yes. not the same it's argument. Not the same Two argument. different arguments. Got it. Right. Oh, man. I'd hurry up and get married. <laughs> well. Would you get married? Yeah. You do that. <laughs> Yo, Mel, Mel, nah, I ain't gonna let you do that, man. I can't do that. I'm Why sorry, did... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You out of line. Mm -hmm. Okay, apologize. <laughs> Please, Mel. I'm sorry. Good. I'm sorry. You on a roll, boy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mute up for a second. Same. Don't we have like a Beyonce Kendrick track to, we, that we want to play? We do. Yeah. There's a remix. There's a of, remix. Uh, America's Got a Problem. America's Got a Problem. It's just surprise drop came out of nowhere. Ta-da. As Beyonce does. She's on tour. Yeah. So not that much of a surprise. <laughs> no, no. It, it, it still is. <laughs> that it's a surprise remix featuring Kendrick. It's, it wasn't the begin day one of the tour. It's just, yeah, okay. You know what I mean? So did y'all hear it? Y'all sound so uninterested when you talk about this hip hop, this music shit. Honestly. Well, I wasn't particularly interested by this. I was excited to hear it, and then I heard it. And I was like, I mean, cool. I think I'll go back to it. And it's okay as podcasters to say when we don't give a fuck about some shit. So, I honestly haven't heard it. I'd really actually yeah. like to hear it if we want to play a little. You got it. Yeah, I got verse. it. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I might delete that shit. Okay. Well, while Parks finds Damn, it, it I'm gonna bad? remind you. It's not bad. It's that just you said none of us heard it. it because nobody wanted to hear it or cared about hearing it. So now y'all gonna come sit at work and hear it for the first time and say what? Like I just would be. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't rush to go. It was off the Renaissance album, which wasn't the album for me anyway. So not any much. record you remixing off of there, salute. But yeah. No. Yeah, mm. and this is Beyonce tour season. I'm not going to the show, so I mean, we're gonna keep seeing these announcements, mm -hmm. like some ill shit happening over here, some fly shit happening here. This artist collab, and she's gonna only gonna collab with like the best of the best of in course. terms of front facing. Mm -hmm. Like, I was really happy for Danny, uh, Danny Lay. Shout out to her for uh, she's being said listed she as one of her choreographers. Of the, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. oh, that's dope. That was super dope. Mm -hmm. All of those writers that, listen, that album might not have been for me, but all of those writers that participated, uh, Sabrina Claudio, she got the look. Mm. Dixon, he got the look. Like, mm -hmm. she worked, uh, Victoria Monet, I want to say, too. I'm just She's saying. She's good with that. Mm -hmm. She's real. Really, Beyonce? Yeah. 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 yeah, so, like, that's, you want to see that. You want to see it. Mm -hmm. You want to see it. Congratulations to everybody that played a part in that. For sure. And this tour is going to go off. I'll be in the parking lot. <laughs> is you going? No. Nah. You said you going. I want to be funny. Huh? You said, you said send the short. Yeah, she going. I ain't going. All right. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Go ahead. What else? What else is un unimportant, important? All right, we, we, down, we down to the last episode of Succession, man. True indeed. How we feeling? How we feeling, guys? I feel like everyone on that show is a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too. I was like, I can't wait. Equal parts of this show has been phenomenal and I cannot wait for it to be over because these are some of the most hateful characters I've ever seen on TV, ever. And it's fucked up because like every so often they'll make one like, oh, I kind of like Roman now. And yeah. Then, and it's then, a piece of shit shit. And you're like, ah, God damn it. Yeah. Same thing, shit. <laughs> every last shit, one of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't get a chance to talk about like the election night. That was like the episode before the one that just played out on Sunday. Mm -hmm. The Sunday was the funeral. But it was interesting to watch the 
el- the election episode just to watch everybody just be walk around being completely conflicted. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? From a business standpoint, they are looking at the candidates and figuring out who would be beneficial. But from a moral standpoint or, you know, because there's a lot of conversation about Kendall and his kids and the treatment that he was getting. Basically, you know, Jared Mankin, the character of Jared Mankin, he's like Trump. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's like 2016 all over again. Yes. Um, but it's just watching. Mixed with a little of the last election. Yeah. More than yeah. 2020-ish. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. So with watching it. Steal the vote shit. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. So Sparkle watching them. it just kind of play out and watching Roman kind of go off the rails um, in both episodes has been, you know, kind of fascinating because... You want to like Roman, and then he does shit that he does some fuck shit. He does some fuck shit that lets you know that he's just really like a, a, a spoiled, entitled brat mm-hmm. who wants to walk around in his father. I I imagine this, you know, this image of Roman in his father's closet as a little boy trying to put on his shoes and trying to put on his suit mm-hmm. and emulate his father, but he will never ever ever measure up. And I think that that's gonna be like how that character is thought of and remembered, you know, when the series is over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any, any, any predictions for the finale? I don't, I don't even know. It's such a shit show. The three of them, it's such a shit show. I don't know who, I feel like Kendall ends up being the one, but I could be completely wrong. He seems the most um, on point in terms of front facing for the company. So I think that that will lend to him being the preferred leader of the... I think the screw network. job that um, Shiv is pulling is going to work. Mm. Um, I do see... Because now the president-elect is is rolling with um, my man from Sweden. I True. forget his name. Mm. He likes the Madsen. idea. Yeah, Matson. He likes the idea. The whole U.S. Uh, CEO. Mm-hmm. He's on board. Yeah. So I think they pulled the rug under Roman's eyes. Under his leg, excuse me. But, yeah. I see Shiv kind of. I guess if this is a game, she's she comes out the winner. Mm. Okay. Just, I ain't watched none of this season. I'm waiting. Oh, you ain't seen none of this season. I'm not. Why don't do that shit, y'all do? <laughs> I, ain't see, I ain't seen neither. No. Oh, shit. And I know the story. So, but I got to see how they do it, how they close it. But after they finish, I'll go back and watch it. Same thing I did with Ozark. <laughs> yeah. Same thing I'm doing with uh with my show that I'm watching, Love and Death. That's it's that's six true. episodes out. I got to five. I finished five. I was like, nah, chilling. <laughs> I am not touching that one until another one is out. You need to. They need are two. destroying. This is a true this. story, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. But it's a it's a reenactment thing. It's not a doc. It's a limited series. It's a, yeah. okay. Limited. Okay. Yeah. Right. It's a limited series. It's not a doc. It keeps popping up, and I'm. I, I said I'm start. And whenever y'all start, actually, I'm. <clears throat> I'm not gonna wait for y'all. Next week, I'm coming to do a deep dive on the show, because. Every man has gone through this that he's going through. And the way that they getting caught, I feel like every man is going through too. And I want to come talk about it. So ne- next week's pod. Next week. All right, What's cool. What's the name of the show? Love and Death. It's on uh, HBO. HBO. Oh, Max. Well, Max. Max now. Yeah. It's just Max. Mm-hmm. The, the new app launched today. Mm-hmm. Oh, please. Yeah, they, it's HBO. Yeah, it's the HBO. Fuck they talking about. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Fucking emails. Shorty is pre- uh, the guy. The guy. His wife is pregnant. She's going through postpartum. He's not fucking her. She could tell something is off. His married neighbor has a proposal. Hey, you want us to start? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. He goes for it. They pull out the big whiteboard. They write down their rules to the relationship and how this affair is going to go. And then she breaks every last one of them. Oh. <laughs> Both of them. Oh. Say less. She started. Mm. I don't know. Mm. She No, she didn't. Yes, yeah, she did. No. No. All right, chill awesome. out. Yeah. Wait, wait. Y'all can't, y'all oh, can't no, I no. do this? Deep dive next you week. You sit down. You said next week. Next week. We're going week. to watch it today. Yeah, deep but she going to make me deep stop. Dive next week. Don't do that girly shit. Don't, don't push I'm him. Don't push him, Mel. Come on. Don't Mel, push him. Let him go. Give, give, we, next week. I'm on Mel's ass next deep week. You better not come in here and defend on that shit. She broke every fucking rule the way y'all always break the fucking rule. It be y'all. Oh, shit. It be y'all. Calm down, nigga. No, I won't. Next week. I won't calm down. It be y'all. Nigga set it up great. Let me stop my girl here, man. <laughs> we'll talk about this shit when she go home. <laughs> <laughs> it be the girls. <laughs> Next week. I can't wait. Are oh, you going to watch it, Ish? I'll watch it. You should watch it. I'm watching it as well. Also. And 
It's happening the same way it always happened. Yo. I think I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> Next week, Joe. Next week, Next Joseph. Mm-hmm. Next week. Well, Next week. refer to the whiteboard, bitch. <laughs> like, what, what? Talk you a little love somewhere. What the fuck you telling me about love? <laughs> I refer to the whiteboard. Listen, oh. What the love written on the whiteboard? Oh, so. what love got to do with it? I mean, Tina Turner every time. Yeah, facts. I mean, back in the day, in my 30s. He was falling in love with that girl, too, though. Stop Yo, it. Stop it. Stop, stop it. stop it. stop it. Stop it. What's wrong with y'all? We watch again, Stop it. You watch the show. The fuck you asking sorry. Corey? He was nigga, falling. Nigga. No, that's my girl oh. and Corey. Corey, chill. You didn't watch he it. He was nigga. falling in love. Next week, mm-hmm. gentlemen Next and lady. Week. All right, my bad. And I'm watching some shit on oh. Amazon Prime called From. Okay, yeah, give me some shows because I I'm, I'm starting to dry yeah, up. Yeah, I here. started searching around. From is on Amazon Prime. This is not an ad. Well, fuck it. And it's about. A town of people that are trapped in the town. Mm. Mm. They can't get out the town. They, I'm I'm new to the show, so they haven't explained why. And season two just started. Okay, there are four episodes in on season two. Okay, they haven't told me why these people are trapped here. But at around six o'clock, everybody got to go in the house mm. because Monsters some come creatures out? come out. Okay. Freaks and, come out at night. But I don't need the freaks come out at night, right? And I don't even see. So far, these freaks are only dangerous if you let them in. If you open a window or open a door and let them in, and then they just that sounds like some kill you, like, eat you oh, inside. Oh, okay. Yeah, but this I'm only on episode three. So far, this is out of the park, and mm-hmm. everybody that has seen it says, just keep going. Unravel the mystery of a city in Middle USA that imprisons everyone who enters. That's the tagline for the show. Hmm. And uh, Oh, shit. So if you enter the town, you're stuck in that motherfucker. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you fuck. Oh, you sure. Okay. okay. Z100 head ass. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got a high rating, too. Melissa. I gotta watch Give me the fucking phone, okay. Melissa. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. I gotta check that out. Did anybody see Air? No. no. The movie no Air? Air. No, I ain't see it. I went to see it. Yeah. No. No, I wait, told y'all. No, you fell asleep. No, I went to sleep. Okay. <laughs> I didn't fall asleep. That was a good sleep. I get the greatest sleep and I pick. It's an old oh, I, I heard it was good though. I heard it was good. I people I saw it was good. really good. I ain't watch, watch it. it. Yeah, it was really people good. People told me it's banging. No, it was good. It okay. What people? People. People that saw it? Yeah. Mm. Duh. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> what people? Oh, shit. Oh, oh man. Y'all are nuts. Uh, Carmelo Anthony. Mello. My man. Yo, round of applause. Hold on. Not too much on Mello, man. Not too much on Mello. Carmelo Anthony announced his retirement after 19 seasons. More, more fire, more fire, more fire. What is? I'm repping. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of Carmelo. Ninth all time on the scoring list. Mm. Happy for that, man. And this is with people saying, this is with people saying that maybe he wasn't all the way locked in some of them years and wasn't trying to win a championship, all that shit. He still got ninth on the scoring list. I watched that game in the garden, 61 points. Most points ever scored or some shit. Like I seen, I seen to it. I seen us trade the whole team for this guy. He carried on that wave. What? It, I, what is funny? No, I'm just. What's happening? Come it's, on. It's, it's oh, not Jesus, even that. Mary, I'm not Joseph. trying to step on it, but I be, I'm watching everybody say ninth on the scoring list all time. But you played a very long time, dog. Like that's kind of inevitable. If you play a long time and score some points, you're gonna move up the scoring list. That's a very scorers. inside nigga thing to say. Okay, well, he's one of the I'm best an inside scorers niggas. of his era, at least. That's a very living room coach thing to say. If you play a long time, that's inevitable. No, it's not. Yeah, there's mad players. Come on, Ice. Robert Parrish is not stop. in the top 10. There's mad people that play for a long time that are not there, number one. Number two, every night you go out there and risk an injury. I'm, I'm not knocking. It, it's, I'm, it's a credit. You also have to stop score it. a lot. Stop it. We big up fucking Cal Ripken Jr. for playing 1,500 games. We big up. Straight. Like, stop, stop. I We're not going to do that to big our... big up Eli Manning? Yeah. From, from that compi- Mr. Do- from Mr. Durability, yeah. Numbers. It's true. Nah, Melo is Melo. Nah, Mello is him. And before we even talk about the NBA, he's a Syracuse legend. Like, Mello is him. For sure, 100%. Mello is, he's a Baltimore legend. He is, he's the extension of all that Iverson shit that came. He is. 
I'll agree with that. He one of us. He's us, yo. Say, he's one of us. When you see, you see Melo in the clubs, you see Melo. We seen we seen him. Have we seen him? We seen him be excited to meet Lala. We seen like we grew up. I grew up with this guy. I grew up with this guy. So for him to hang hang his jersey up. They're having to talk about does Denver retire 15, even though Joe, Joe Kick wears 15. Put them both up there. Put them both up there in Denver. Retire both jerseys. They're having this talk in New York. Do you think Melo's jersey needs to be retired in New York? It I think be. the New York, I think the New York should be happy to hang cleaners clothes up <laughs> in, in the rafters. I think y'all should just hire local artists to put artwork up there. <laughs> we ain't hung shit up there. Y'all should be thrilled when you have something, something to hang, hang up there. I don't understand this conversation. Pat Ewan? Probably yeah. The last one, right? Yeah. Probably last. See, I don't even think they got Bernard King up there. I don't know what's up there. They it's got, impossible. they still got it. It's not impossible. Not impossible. Check. Sheesh. Just go check. I'm they to... got Atlantic Division titles from the 90s up there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Carmelo's jersey should be retired. Absolutely. In I New agree. York. They got a couple. Nick's got a couple. They got. Kiki Van Do- uh, Bill, it's that plan, yo. <laughs> Well, Bill Russell across Frazier, the entire NBA. Earl Monroe. Walt Frazier. Earl Monroe. Dick Barnett. Dick Barnett. Earl Monroe. Uh, Dick uh, McGuire. What's our big center? Our big center, our big center. Willis what's Reed. Our, Willis Reed. Dave De- Dave DeBusher. Dave DeBusher. Dave DeBusher. Bill Bradley. Bill Bradley. Patrick Ewing. List, I'm about to say, at least you'll be coming to an end soon. <laughs> Yikes. Bunch of names from the 50s and 60s. Yeah, that's 70s. 70s. With all due respect to Bill Bradley. And rest in peace to uh, Jim Brown. Indeed. Rest in peace yes. to Jim Brown. Rest in peace, Jim Brown. Mm-hmm. We should have been said rest in peace to Jim we Brown. We definitely yeah. should. Rest in peace. That's, uh, they said that's Megan's good godfather or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. But he's <laughs> way more than that. There's a lot oh, more than that. A, a, a lot more than he's that. One of the best athletes that, ever. That might be down. Holy uh, shit. No, 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 no. I'm just... <laughs> I can't make me understand. No, they stuff were attacking up. her for bigging him up. Nah, my fault. I didn't know I what was going on. Stuff up. Now he's he's him, I heard, but I'm just saying. He's definitely yeah, him. We heard. We gotta mm-hmm. stop hearing on here. At one point, <laughs> I don't watch sports. We, at one point we need to just but he was a he's, bigger, he's much bigger yeah, than the yeah. Seriously. You no, know, back in the day. After activist. Civil Rights Act. Yes, I know. Okay. I know. You could just let us do it. <laughs> Rest in peace, yeah. Jim Brown. Rest in peace, Jim Rest Brown. Rest in peace, Jim Brown. I was just watching He Got Game the other day. I we said, oh, shit, Megan Jim Brown was in this too. I fuck. hope she's doing all right. Say it again? We hope Megan Good's all right. <laughs> Megan Good name should be banned from this podcast anyway, along with some other names. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look, stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's with... <laughs> Move right along. Yes. Yes. Move right good along. one, Joe. Good one, Joe. Move, right Move us along. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I don't think I have any more news that I need to get out here. Any part of the show for us? Uh, let's see. Let's see if we got some good ones here. Okay. Do, 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 do. do, do, do. I like the ones where they ask us, do, do, ask us for relationship do. advice and we give them like everything the but worst good relationship <laughs> I love all those. time. Please continue to send those in. I enjoy those. <laughs> <laughs> now the one where we shit on dude like yo they must think you chump you, you might be know. pussy though like, I don't know I can't relate to you what you going through <laughs> alright I got a part of the show here from a gentleman named Ty Ty what up what's up Ty Hi. what up Ty Ty says just wanted to give a little pushback for some of the reason why fans have narratives about the pod that's cause we make narratives so. alright forget it <laughs> Flip asked, Flip asked, what did we see to make it seem like him and Ish had problems? Like there was no way it could ever blow up. From a fan standpoint, we saw a mature Ish and a, less, and a little less mature Flip tackling serious topics. Now, unless Ish is a part-time actor, he looked more upset when arguing serious topics. Even Flip said he had to check his own ego and how he thought he wasn't going to make it. Wouldn't that be proving the narrative right if the change didn't happen? The same happened with the older cast. We started to see a frustrated Joe when it came to lack of effort. One member on his phone the whole show and another challenging Joe to fight for a week. But as always, fans are called dumb for pointing out what we see unfolding in front of us. Same after the Charlemagne and Gucci interview. At some point, it looks like a smokescreen to ensure things are running smoothly. But the pod has been great lately and the growth and chemistry is better now. 
So, you got a question, Ty? No, <laughs> <laughs> no question. That was just a nah, nah, observation. Observation. Okay. I, 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 do I mean, think, I do think that the fans witnessing what happened with the old crew play out in real time has them kind of on edge that any – you argue with somebody two, three times in a row, they're like, oh, we can't really go through this again. Or if somebody's not here, they, they just get on edge. I think them seeing that – a lot of times in shows, you don't see it happen in real time. Mm-hmm. It'd be some shit you might hear about behind the scenes, but you don't really get to see it. They witnessed it, so they're like trying to spot it before it happens again. I think what it comes down to is that a lot of the fans, you go extreme, right? So when you're sitting here and you're saying, well, you guys are going to fight, you guys are going to ish and flip, going to fight, and they don't like each other, when it's the total opposite. Right. So, of course, if, if we're reading it and, and I said, man, I fuck with Ish, that's my man, I'm going to give pushback and call some of you niggas dumb. Not all of you, but it's like, because I feel like you are waiting for the explosion to happen instead of enjoying the process of the growth. You're waiting. You're predicting, oh, they're going to explode. They're going to fight. And then on top of that, it's like when a nigga trying to be on some mature shit and got out of bullshit and you're saying they're going to fight the fuck up business, you're actually calling the motherfuckers dumb. Well, me. I'm that dumb to fight my man and fuck up the bag. So I start to think and I start to get a little defensive, but I get it. You know what I mean? It's all I act. That part, right? Uh, my point to the fans be by the time y'all know about it, you're late. Hmm. Always, okay. every single time. Uh, by the time y'all, that Gucci man, Charlemagne, Angela shit start going on, they're been beefing for years. And coming to work every day, none of y'all was none the wiser. By the time you see something, it was there already. Mm-hmm. Even me with the old cast, that whole fake fight thing, by the time by the time you saw that, there was shit going on. Mm-hmm. You're late. True. That's all we mm-hmm. be saying is, just get a little more, just get a little more first. Everything ain't on the screen, is all. True. Hey, and sometimes... Y'all be right. You do. Sometimes you be right. Just not a whole lot. Uh, all right. What am I doing? What am I doing? We got gifts first. Wanna... Oh, we got gifts. We got gifts. Okay. We got Corey, gifts. continue this theme of calling me, FaceTiming me on the weekend from different parts of the world. Open up. <laughs> this time he was in Jamaica. Mm. He's got us a gift. Magnum. <laughs> Magnum. <laughs> Toxic. What? Tonic wine. Yo, nigga, Toc- who, who, toxic wine. Who's gonna have tonic sex? Tonic wine. It's made with Vigortron. Me, nigga. Oh, this is, yo, this is gonna get you, this shit'll get you up. You what was y'all talking about? This shit shit get you This shit this shit get you lit. 16.5% sure. alcohol. You don't know this shit, yo? <laughs> <laughs> you get a little buzz sure. fucking You gonna feel like you 20 years old, <laughs> nigga, doing the moonwalk. For real? <laughs> Just walking on the moon, you gonna be lit. You don't need none of this. <laughs> Yo, yo, oh, Ray bad. and nephew. Mm. <laughs> so you don't need none of this. <laughs> right, my bad. I mean, look at the image on my it. Bad. Look, look, it's a man and a woman. It's oh, like it's yeah. all yeah. it's it's heat activated. Bro, you never had one of these. You never had one. Where's the LGBTQ plus version? Wait till you version drink that. Wait, wait, wait till I try that shit. Come back and talk about it next week. Where's you drink the, the whole Jamaica? shit. Where's the Janelle see, Monae version? From Jamaica. See him, right? Mm-hmm. See, Jamaica. See, stop. I didn't hear him either. I took my headphones off. Forget it. Can I open this? Why you want my drink? You don't drink. Give me my drink. You, ain't, you don't drink. <laughs> I'm gonna turn up with this. This shit lit. Come on, I wanna. I wanna know. Can, no. can I open it? No. Yeah. If you open my shit in front of okay, me, okay, okay, okay. You open it already. Here, you here. Open it again. I didn't get here. it. Here, uh, open it. You don't have a. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at Ish giving his up. Look at Ish giving his up. She opened mine, guys. I didn't open it. I didn't open it. I didn't open it. See, look, this is. I'm playing a sleeper. That's, that's open. That's what I'm gonna do. Take Are you a about sip, to drink this right now? Put it in the cup and take a, put it in the this top. This is why you'd be sleeping in the parks. <laughs> oh, shit, she's drinking this shit. Oh, she's going to be lit. She's just drunk this shit and hand it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> kind of tastes a little bit like Y'all drink after each other? I cough syrup. We do not. Do y'all, I didn't ask you. <laughs> do y'all drink after each other? You may need this dish. We He's, do not. Nigga. I didn't ask you, though. I'm, I, I'm answering you, though. <laughs> okay, but Mel, have y'all ever... Shit, yo. I got it. Holy shit. Holy what shit. the fuck is going Yo, on? This shit. is what you be doing. Stop. Stop, bro. That do be your fault. You that do be your fault. You said that marriage shit nigga, we jumped out the window, nigga. You started to get fucked in. She's crazy. <laughs> No. Oh. At, why y'all don't She be at the point, window Just waiting you. for it Instead like, of pointing at me Why y'all don't look at her jumping. And say Just give me a reason I'm gonna jump Give me a reason Give me that, That's a reason She just jumped <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit More right. fire Blah <laughs> Blah
Murder rap. Not my fault. I'm Magnum sorry. got me tripping already. I'm with your double F. The tonic one got that boy going. I didn't drink nothing. Mel just she said she feel fucked up. Too. <laughs> she said I feel dizzy. You're terrible. Well, idea. do you normally consume things without knowing the effects that they would have on your body? You know, honestly, <laughs> not usually. No, usually I'm, I play it kind of safe. But but today just right felt in. like yeah, just Mel, are you okay? I'm fucked up. This is a high level of alcohol I in said there, that. and I'm fasting. <laughs> Stupid. How much food do you drink? Enough. Enough. Uh, I'm just saying. I don't she know how that's supposed better. to get your dick hard, though. I don't get that. <laughs> I, don't, well, I mean, I don't well, have you, one, but I don't see. That's, that's how you, you, you right. do great. Great, great job. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. Hey, hey listen. Hey, hey, she is sucking that thing. <laughs> Stop. Right? Right? <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> Listen, buddy. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Can you stop? Right, you gave man. me a word. Oh, my God. And what part of sensitivity training said that at work, sit next to the boss and drink? Oh, <laughs> that wasn't covered. Yeah, that ain't going to be in sensitivity training. That definitely training. was not covered. They do. <laughs> I'm telling you something. That wasn't Somehow covered. Somehow it's been working, though. <laughs> that wasn't covered. It's been covered. working. Right. <laughs> Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell, adios, arriva, dirty, hasta la vista, au revoir, so long, goodbye. And remember, remember life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this part as much as we enjoyed delivering it to you. Shout out to the ladies. Ah! Y'all hold it down out there. Everybody have a safe week. What time you start on your show tomorrow, man, so I can plug this shit? Tomorrow? All right, forget it, yo. Yo, y'all hold it down. Not nice. You should have gave me a time to, to catch up. 11? 11.30. 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yes, sir. YouTube, Improper Improv, yes, right? Sir. There you go. Shout out to Improper go. Improv. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. This motherfucker. Yo, y'all hold it down out there. Peace, love, health, wealth, and prosperity. We'll be back same time, same place. JBP, JBP, where would you be without the JBP? All right. New Joe Biden.